it's the bobbiest of Bobbert squares. Where are we at? We're right here. Hey, that wasn't the transition I asked for. Hang on. What's going on? Hmm. Hmm. I'll take it. I'll take it. Hey, everybody. Hey, reviewers. Welcome to the green room. It's Saturday. It's Saturday. You have nothing better to do except for hang out with me. Your good old pal, Nick. In the green room. How you doing? Oh. <clears throat> I have to show this off, I have to show this off before we do anything else, part of the camera is I've got so many screens going on, it's like a freaking war games set in here, I've got freaking Whopper and Cheyenne Mountain and stuff, alright, here we go, here we go, you ready, you ready, ready, friend said this, friend this is, oh, it's a bee, yeah, it's a bee, look at it, look at her, I call her honey, even though she's a bombus, but a buzz, she's got, oh, she falls right out of my hands, hang on. Falls right out of my head. She's got black wings. It's adorable. Oh, look at that. Hi, everybody. I'm Nick today. Do, 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 do. Ba, 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 Twitch is dark. Is it? That's weird. Hmm. Do a refresh because I'm looking at the Twitch feed on my end and it looks exactly the same as the YouTube one. Oh. <sighs> So I'm done. Yes, absolutely. Boka, 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 boka. But also the camera might be focusing too. It's really dumb about that. And I got my Diet Pepsi. Yeah, that'll carry me through the evening. It's cool still. It hasn't been sitting out there. And guess what? Hang on. Uh, you, you might be able to see it, but I'm fucking busted my hang on where's the fucking it's the wrong side Ugh. this side no it's this side busted up my phone which is okay I mean I'll live this phone is freaking trash I hate this thing I only have it because I needed a phone and uh good good glad it's working there I needed a phone and Voila, there it is. So um, I've got another phone that's you that's looking at me right now, right now. There, yeah, and that's fine. That's the Pixel Four, right there. Mm. We got a two-part uh, thing going on today. Because you know before we play our game, which tonight is Daikatana, the legendary Daikatana, uh, we have to go over some stream anniversary reboot anniversary thing. Not a stream anniversary, obviously that's still 10 months out or so, but we're almost two months into that. But uh, we got to talk about rebooting the channel. But before we do any of that, uh, we got to talk about where the Outer Worlds is. The Outer Worlds is in progress. Uh, all the... Uh, the, the screen is still on working touchscreen. Yep. yep. Still works like exactly as it does. Thank God. But uh, it's just it doesn't look as good. And then it's got kind of that weird like stabby feeling when, uh, you know, when you do it right. It's never like stabs, but it's just it's weird. So, you know, uh Woo! Just burp it all over the place. Have you noticed how much brighter it is every single time I stream? Like, I, you can go back and see the stream, and it's like dark out, and then now it's as bright as the lights that I had put in here. Are those lights even just hanging it? Yeah, that's me. I was say I thought those were like hanging a little bit. Uh, but the outer worlds, the audio is obviously it's edited. Uh, the Everything is good there. It's been placed in the file. The intro is done. And uh, uh, I don't have it set up here. Um, well, hang on. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, we might. Hang on. Let's uh, hang on. I might be able to show you this. 
Hang on, because I got this done too, and then you guys kind of saw it there. Uh, that's not the right one. Where was it at? Oh, here we go. Hang on. Hang on, let's back this up. It's not the game. Uh, okay, let's pull this out of this mode here. Hang on. Sorry, I didn't mean to... There we go. Let's watch this for a second. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. My research may not quite fall within legal parameters. Never realized fighting the bureaucracy could be this interesting. You say angry. I say efficient. Hey, Captain. I'm in space. I never asked to be liberated. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Not many folk have big pulsating space brains like you. So hey, uh, that's that's the uh, that's the intro bit there. Yeah, just a little sneak pe sneaky peeky, sneaky peeky about what's going on. Uh, that's the beginning of the. Uh, of the new nth review for the outer worlds i'm currently laying the keel uh for the chapters because everything's based on the audio that i do right so i'm setting out the markers uh, along the timeline so that then i can go back through and all i have to do is just find the appropriate footage since i've done all the the hard work already and uh uh just go from there and that should make editing easier I'm targeting like before May 1st, uh, this month. I want it done this month. What days does that give me? <laughs> what days does that give me? Cause Saturday is May 1st. Ah, and rain 101's doing his May 1st thing that day. I can't do that. I don't know. We'll make it work somehow. We'll make it work somehow, but it's going to be a premiere that day. Or not, maybe not that day. We'll we'll figure it out. It's this thing's not getting done in the next two weeks. So. So, uh, so yeah, that's where the thing is at. the The keel for the first chapter is laid down. I started today. Today has been a very much a self help, uh, kind of day. Just kind of me, just chilling, chatting with you guys. I did get to go through the statistics, and I noticed that. Every single stream that I've done, I've lost at least one subscriber. There's like one or two that I had zero. I've got a guest that's trying to come through here. He's going to try. I don't know if he's going to be successful. I don't know what it can. Judges, can you do it? Can you do it? I don't. It, I, I don't. I don't. I've, okay. He did it, kind of. <laughs> anyway, every stream's lost like one subscriber. Sometimes zero has to. Sometimes it's zero, but so, there was last week I lost two. And that's not a bad thing. I don't care. It's not a big deal. But I, I noticed that among that. King to Diddy. Kirby always has to stream bomb me. Always. Always and forever. This little guy right here has to get in trouble. I almost got in trouble because the screen window is popped was popped out, and I'd been opening this window to you know let air through, let it circulate because I didn't want to blast the AC because I have a AC, thank God. But uh, the screen was po popped out, and I didn't notice until like now or a couple hours ago, and he could just wander right out. And how would I've ever found him again? Like I would have been the guy putting up, please find Captain Kirby signs <laughs> on lampposts everywhere. That would have been sad. That would have been weird. <sighs> Let's sigh. But I'm glad it didn't happen. I'm really glad. I'm really happy. He's just bouncing around. He's been bouncing around all to see. Look at him now. He's just doing what he wants. So waiting for the tax return. When I get the tax return, I'll get a new cat tree so he can just up and down here. Anyway, today 
uh, we're let's go over this week's stats first because that's what we do here in the green room. Kapow. Plus eight stats this week, a little slower than usual. That's totally fine. Nothing wrong with that. If you're new here, watching for the first time, welcome. This is what we do on this stream. We talk about stats, and we got more stats coming. Yes, that would be horrible. Oh, look at me go. Oh, thank goodness. My goodness. Oh, I love that. Oh, let's get this out of the way. So, plus eight stats. If you are new to the green room, welcome. Thank you. If you've been watching on YouTube or Twitch, you can be watching it. Either way, whatever suits your mood. I see there's a couple people on on uh, uh, Twitch and all that fun stuff. <clears throat> uh, the top five this week, pretty, 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 pretty looking standard. <laughs> Top three are unchanged yet again. Uh, uh, but last week's Deus Ex stream was a big deal. And so that uh, made it up there. That's, I think, the first stream in a couple weeks that we've had in the top five for the week. And then uh, Satisfactory rounding out the top five there. So before we go into... The uh, reboot anniversary. We're gonna back up a step. Um, so a year ago, actually a year ago on the six, I was gonna do it last week, and I kind of lot out of mind, out of sight, out of whatever. Uh, last week was basically April sixth. Was a year since I rebooted the channel, and uh, I want to go into detail here in a little bit. Oh, he knocked over the freaking. He knocked over the bee. The bee goes over here. Honey's over here. And then the buzzettes are over here. So. And then Big Bee's. Big Buzzy's coming too. Big Buzzy is coming. Thank God. He's coming soon. Next week. But a year ago, I was bored. I was unemployed. And uh, I put this channel on hold for about two years. And again, we're going to get into this. Uh. But it was two years ago I decided to reboot the channel. I started with some three minute, you know what, let's just bring up the freaking damn, damn thing. This will make more sense. But we're at currently 1,391 subscribers. And if we, this is the chart of the entire lifetime of the channel. And uh, right here, April 6, 2020, 233 subscribers. That's when I rebooted the channel. So you go back here, all the way to the beginning, zero, and then the first video is Watch Dogs. That's the 23rd, and that's six subscribers. So before then, it's basically me and Kirby meowing, and it's, I think, probably Romega and probably my friend Kelly, <laughs> and I think we're the three subscribers before Watch Dogs comes out. So Watch Dogs comes out, like, Ah, it's a couple, whatever. Um, and then Forza, Forza Horizon 2 review comes out. And that's a couple more. You know, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And then Destiny brings us to just almost 100. So people celebrating the, you know, their first 100 subscribers. As soon as I knock around my microphone. Uh, I didn't hit that for a good while. Uh, remember, this is 2015, end of 2014. Uh, so we come up here. We move back to Colorado at the beginning of November. I start playing Fallout 4 because I'd already bought it before I lost my job moving out here. And with Fallout 4, hit my first 100 subscribers. 14 months in. And then go for a bit and my computer dies and I can't work on anything. And in this, during this window, this is so crazy. During this window here, I released two reviews. Um, or is it in here? Something like that. In here, I release Just Cause 3 and Quantum Break. And you can see there's like barely any movement. It's like, what? So that's when I start switching to Brief Leaves, which are the shorter videos for four minutes. And uh, 
This kind of slowly, gradually climbs here. This is, uh, I believe, right here. I think right here. Or maybe it's this one here. Uh, this is uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Somewhere in here. I can't remember. You guys have all the numbers. Who cares? Uh, and then a couple more, couple more review briefly's. Those are four-minute videos, four-minute reviews. Not really reviews; they're just shorter videos. Uh, and then I go on a hiatus, basically from then on. And I think the last one I did was April or May of 2017. So I'm topping out at 2:43:44. And then over in the next couple years. Uh, I finally get the opportunity to start making videos again in September and you don't really see that here there are more traffic hits you can't really see that but uh, I do the top five PC strategy games I just wanted to do like a listicle or something like that so I get a few subscribers from that 10 10 plus and then things change here and I start working so Excuse me. I am apologizing for burping into the microphone here. So we're at April 6th, April 5, April 6th, 233. So that's where we're starting at. We're at 1391 now. And then that's, it's over five times as many now. And you see that in this steady decline or steady incline. So a couple of uh, the shorter videos, three weeks, three minutes each or so. Starting out like I'm experimenting. And uh, this little bump here is max pain. Or th this one starts to get max pain at the end of April. And it's like, that's cool. I like that. And Alan Wake's in here. And not really, like, not really a whole lot going on with Alan Wake. And then it kind of levels out. And at the end of June, there is a day where I think I had six views total for a period of like six minutes. And that that's I had to put things in perspective. Every single there has not been a single day since November where this channel has not had at least a hundred views and twenty four hours of watch time. Like every single day, someone is what people are watching twenty four hours worth of the nth review. It's nuts. But here back in June, not even a year ago, I was down to six views. So July comes and that's Deus Ex. Deus Ex is a really big deal on this channel. And at first it's like, eh, not not really a big deal, not really a big deal. And then the 23rd comes and it's like <laughs> And I'm doing and throughout this whole thing, I do a couple more shorter reviews or shorter videos, 15, 20 minutes. Like, whatever, but for the most part, it's just a uh, thief. And these are Reddit posts. Like, right here, these abrupt jumps, these are just Reddit posts. That's why it's, like, super valuable to get the message out. Like, spreading the message of the nth review is, like, such a big deal because you see these spikes of reviewers. Like, this one's a little weird because, like, I guess they were bots or something and they came back down. Yeah, so it was, like, almost a thousand right here and then I guess it was bots so it was only 60 in the end but it doesn't matter because 60 is huge that's almost 900 there and then this is New Year's this is New Year's right here you know like a hundred and fifty or so uh, subscribers so reddit posts anywhere you get <laughs> can post stuff is great and then in um, January right here is is thief January 11th or so and it just gradually it's just been working up to where it is today 1391 just gradually 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 so it should hit you know 1500 in you know a couple months before summer that's barring whatever the out, outer worlds does but that's been the past year here is just me working here and I'm so grateful to you guys like I the idea of um, me streaming doing this in Saturday is freaking nuts. Like the idea of having 
you guys around is freaking nuts and I'm so grateful to you guys and I am so lucky to be even where I'm at now you know 1391 doesn't seem like a big number but it is it's a big number to me and I watch every single day I watch that number just bob up and down and just kind of gradually like an earthquake just kind of seismically change over time and it makes me happy and that's validating and, and all that fun stuff so um it's been an it's been a really cool year it's been really cool period of growth and um I'm just I'm freaking excited. I'm excited about what's coming next. If this is what we can do in a year, what's the next year going to bring? So, with all that said, thank you for indulging me on my little celebratory rant there. We're going to do the thing. I got to bring up the right one. I think it's under Gog. Gog Galaxy. Gog and Gog and Galaxy. Do, 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 do. We're gonna unscrew this thing. Thank you, Faronis. Thank you so much. And I'm so glad to have, uh, have your support, too. I really am. And, uh, we're going to have some fucking fun today. I know it's like 1 o'clock where you're at. <laughs> but uh, I don't care. <laughs> Happy reboot anniversary! God, that's loud. Hang on. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, look what we got. We got that katana. And it's brighter. So this... Na, na acid orange background should be just fine. And that right for own. Look at this mouse cursor, it's rotating. That's freaking nuts. Um we're gonna we're gonna play on freaking easy. Look at the console commands. Let me know if that's too loud or whatever. This is Ion Storm Dallas's John Romero's. Daikatana. Pardon the interruption, Miyamoto-san. There is a visitor waiting outside, refuses to identify himself, will only speak to the proprietor of the school. Also, yeah, I patched, yeah, yeah that's how you're seeing it as it is here. To his son, he... I should have stayed in bed. And yes, Let the text guess, is Mio. microscopic it's for me too, so don't door, worry. Right? <laughs> like I said, the visitor would not give his name. Did Mishima-san like send three? you? I think Tell him I'll have his money by. Uh, yeah. I uh, can assure you that I am not here on Mishima's behalf. My name is Toshiro Ebihara. You want to learn to sword fight? Great. You're a bit older than my usual clientele, but it's never too late to. <laughs> no. <coughs> no. No, please. You misunderstand. Look, if you're asking for some donation... Sounds like Perhaps Jesse Denton. If you would allow me to explain... Miyamoto-san, you need only spare me a few moments. Go on. I'm not here. They <laughs> may be watching. They? They who? Come. Let's take a stroll. I promise you it will be worth your time. Centuries ago, the shogunate Mishima ruled over our people with an iron fist and a bloody sword. The only opposition came from the Ebihara clan. I wonder if this is J.C. Denton. A group of warriors Not this guy, dedicated but the, uh, to overthrowing the brutal regime. Master there. For years, the Mishimas they bought, tried worked to rid out of themselves Dallas office of the Ebihara without success. After years of frustration, the ruthless leader of the Mishimas came up with a plan. Disguising his true intent Osaka Mishima 
hired a legendary swordmaster we can definitely to create the mm. ultimate weapon the dai katana we can definitely this sit on the game, master but i also want to like Miyamoto, pay tribute to your ancestor the fact that John Romero's con for his so warrior far skills. Since this game. His love of swordplay led him to become an expert a, swordsmith you know, as well. It was not until mistake. the blade was There's completed this, you know, a series that of mistakes, Usagi realized Osaka's but, uh, malevolent nature. Through the power of the sword, you know, this is not a good game, he was and we're able gonna, to foresee I've the fate a bit that awaited so far, mankind and we're see should it. Mishima ever take control of the Daikatana. Daikatana is Japanese Usagi for big sword. Usagi refused to the powerful weapon over to the Mishimas. Instead, he offered it to the Shogunate's nemesis, Inshiro Ebihara. But only on the condition that it be returned to him after the evil Mishimas had been vanquished in an epic battle. Oh, nice. I don't know what happened. Thousands died on that battlefield. But Mishima was finally overthrown. Convinced that the mystic sword was too powerful to be wielded by mere mortals, Usagi threw the Daikatana into the heart of the raging volcano. So you want me to create another Daikatana? I'm playing this in no, 4K, by the way. No, that's not necessary. I am one of Inshiro's direct descendants. Hard as it may be for you to believe, I was once a very wealthy man with the vast resources at my disposal. I funded an expedition to uncover oh. the long lost Daikatana from the I bowels of the dormant volcano. Let's assume for a second that I believe any of this. What's the big deal? The Daikatana is still just a sword like any other, right? Wrong. Wrong. Legend has it that the Daikatana contains many secrets, even the ability to warp time and space. You see, the fabric of time is, really is a long. delicate thing, and Usagi bestowed the sword with certain time-wandering capabilities, which have been used to alter our own perceptions of reality. Right. The man you know is Kagi Mishima. A descendant of the evil Osaka found out about the discovery of the Daikatana before I even had a chance to examine the ancient artifact. He stole the sword and then used its magical powers to go back in time. You're telling and me, history. dude. This world. Yeah, that definitely explains the microscopic text. I'm surprised the patch they appear to be. Things are not as they should be. The... As they were destined to be. You know, if John Romero had his way, know, John Doom would have had a 12 box filovirus, more commonly known as MMP, first cropped up at the tail end of the millennium. Kagi claims that the Mishima family came up with a cure for the MMP virus back in the year 2030. Those claims are false. <gasps> the truth is that the original <gasps> creator of a vaccine was Dr. Tatsuo Ibihara. Another of my ancestors. With the Daikatana in his possession, Kagi was able to travel back through time and steal the cure from Tatsuo, making it his own. <clears throat> I take it that that's how Kage accumulated the funds to finance his vast empire. That's right. Of course, Mishima only gives out the cure to those he desires to have it. I... I'm sorry, but I don't see what you need from me. It's about my daughter. Your daughter? From the moment Ancestors of her birth, I trained my daughter Mikiko how to wield the Daikatana in case it were ever discovered. The opposite of that Several is. weeks ago, she followed Kagi in an attempt to retrieve the stolen sword. Can you imagine this old man comes to your dojo and just starts explaining I'm, all this? I fear she's being and held captive and by Master's like sitting there like, I'm taking it. So you want me to rescue her, is that it? Yes, and then together you must find the Daikatana so that history can be changed back to the way it was. And they're not Good even walking along, they could be honed in on. But I'm like, not quite sure happening? I'd buy it. Descendants, even there we go, thank did, you. 
I'm just a guy teaching kids how to fight with a sword. No, you are the descendant of Musagi Miyamoto. Embrace your heritage and who the... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Whoa, whoa. 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 Look up on a whole other plane, don't know how to get the plane or back to the base. nothing you can do for me here, but find my daughter. And the Daikatana. Game I, over, I man! Game over! Say nothing. When the Death Collectors come to get my body, steal away inside the coffin. It will get you inside Mishima's fortress. So you want you to hang out the in his coffin as he's being you. taken away. But you are the bloodline hero. I know. You will do the right thing. Thank you. And see. No. <clears throat> Pull on his iPad. I'm just gonna snuggle up next to this dead body. Ooh, I like the panoramic sound. That's nice. Stereo. Heck yeah. Ah, bump ahead. Odds are evener. Evener. Look how big that truck is. How many we lose? Only four this time. Looks like my rock holding out. Too bad for you. <laughs> Damn. This music man is jamming. I'm definitely gonna look to f crank up that gamma because uh, I can see it's pretty freaking dark in there. All I had to do was. All right, hang on. Uh, yeah, and the. Uh, you can't see the UI either, so it's kind of this immersive looking thing. Alright, where are we at? We need video. Where? Apply changes. That is really. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh. Shit. Uh, that's not what brightness is supposed to do. Let's uh, see if we can fix this. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Oh my god. Oh my god, don't die. Uh, I can't tell what's going on. All I wanted to do was change the fucking shit. There's got to be a way. Hang on. Hang on. There's got to be a configuration file or something. Uh... Don't mind me. Talk amongst yourselves while I try and figure out what the heck is going the hell on. Yes, turn up brightness means bring close, bring the sun closer. Oh my god. This is why uh, PC gaming is great. This is... <laughs> Stupid garbage. Um... I don't know why I did that. The katana config file brightness. It's got to be somewhere. Um. Ma 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 Do 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 do.
Um, all right, well, let's try this thing. Oh, my God. This is so dumb. All right. Let's see. All right, so while we get that, we're going to do this. We're going to try some console commands is what we're going to do. GL, God, I can't even see. GL, ignore H and gamma one, vid gamma one point oh. GL, uh, GL, modulate space three, vid underscore restart. All right. Let's try this again. I got the menu back up, but I need it to... Uh, let's try 150%. Let's see if that works better. I think we got it. I think we got it. All right, guys. All right, hang on. I think we got it. I think I fixed it. Uh, I think it, uh. Amateur hour here, don't mind me. Uh. Yeah, so I had to. Yeah, I had to do some console commands so that I could get my first gun, ion blaster, and restart the, uh, uh oh, the killer? Nope, you're down here. Oh, there's dragonflies everywhere, by the way. Where is it? I can hear it. Where is it? Ah, oh, fuck you. And the shots reflect off of there. Yeah, doesn't that look better? A little more blandish, but uh, it doesn't look like it's from the sun. And I'm gliding. And then also, we're gonna not save. Or we're gonna save game. There we go. <laughs> welcome to the green room, Dylan. Welcome, welcome. Yes. I'd actually consider putting like a, I don't know if I would put a barcode, but like an Intel inside back when that was a big deal way back in the day. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Oh, we're going to play this game. Okay. We're going to do it. What's going on? Best way to start any first person shooter is uh, with a sewer level. G-Man Lives uh, actually did a level about, or a video about sewer levels and shooters. And, uh, I haven't seen it yet. But I kind of, I don't, I, I kind of got the gist. Alright, what does the sign say? Guys, can we read the sign? It's 1990, or 2000, can we read the sign? What does it say? What does it say, guys? <laughs> Oh, Mecha God, Mecha Godzilla dragonflies. Nobody likes sewer levels. Why would they? Uh oh. And frogs. So there's this amazing article. The movement feels weird and floaty. Like you, you're kind of you got. Uh oh. And then the the bolts bounce off stuff it's it's really weird and I don't like well I guess like whoa what's down here I found a secret what is this is that a buff these look like system shock 2 tentacle walls uh oh don't die don't die don't die don't die thank god I'm still drowning 
Okay. It's like the second plague. Yes. Uh oh. Where? You, where you at? Oh. Oh, it's a power up that only lasts for a couple, like 30 seconds. What are these sounds? What are these terrible, terrible sounds? can't like harvest I'm used to every game now being like you can harvest everything in the oh shit I kind of like this I think this is cool I, I, I... no the scoutscape is more like a hellscape I cannot remember all the levels but the ones he used were good which ones did he use? I mean, everything is original, right? Uh-oh. Awesome, I recently re read uh, Masters of Doom again. Great book. Oh, Romero, quite possibly the worst opening level ever. I have not read Masters of Doom in... Uh, it's been a number of years. I do mean to uh, watch it again. Watch it again? Watch my book, guys. Yeah, I do need to read it again. It's a really good book. Unfortunately, David Kushner's next book, uh, I think it was Jack. It's about a uh, early days of Rockstar. It's uh, not nearly as good. There is an excellent article, and I was trying to dig it up. I think yesterday, uh, before Jeff Keeley before became we're saving by the way. Save air, save early, saved often. That's great. Kane, yes, absolutely, Kane. Welcome to the green room. We do this every Saturday, and it's, you know it's a green stream for people who don't like gaming streams. That's a great mode stream. What I'm trying to say is that Jeff Keeley did this series of behind-the-scenes uh, pieces for GameSpot, not GameStop, GameSpot, where he talked about the uh, behind-the-scenes of how they made. Daikatana and how and the kind of the terror that was oh I don't like this at all kind of the nightmare that was Ion Storm Dallas in their big penthouse tower tower penthouse and oh shit what the fuck what was that and it's a great read if you can find it I can't find it anymore because technology Wait, 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 wait. Is that what I'm... Wait, no. That didn't do anything. Who designed this game? Die! I don't even know what my health is. My UI is too small. Wait, okay. Maybe... Oh, thank God. The game drowns out the commentary. Yeah, gotcha. Gotcha, hang on. Uh, hang on. Um, wait, that's not what I want. I want this. And then we're gonna crank this puppy down. There we go. Is that better? Let me know if that's better. Wait, that's the way we came. I love health. Health is really good. After that thing, we're gonna freaking save. Oh, freaking frogs. So this game originally, when you get it by default, uh, you can, it's got save gems. You can't just save anywhere. You have to use the save gems. And uh, I was like, no, that's not happening. So I, uh, cool. You guys may need to refresh your feed. Are you glad that Square owns Eidos or do you miss the independence? I don't, I was not a um, huge Eidos fan before they were purchased anyway. Um, aside from the Ion Storm, but then they Eidos killed Ion Storm a million years ago anyway. 
Um, Square has given them money to do stuff like... Um, freaking alligator? Are you serious? What the fuck? We would have not had... I mean, we... We, we chastise Ida or Square Enix really for not giving us a third Eidos Montreal Deus Ex game. But because of Square Enix, we had those first two Eidos Montreal Deus Ex games. So, like, I'm kind of taking it, you know... As a good and a bad. Um, and I think probably for the better. Because Eidos was in bad shape. Um, because they had Tomb Raider, Hitman. This. <laughs> the wonderful Daikatana IP. That I'm sure they were just begging to make a second one of. This game cost like $30 million to make. Which for 2000 was an insane amount of money. Bye. Oh, shit. Oh, so you can destroy the... Whoa. Oh, I don't like that at all. What happened? I destroy a turret, and then the world starts blowing up. I don't understand that at all. By the way... Sick game... Do, 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 do. Oh, here we go. Uh, uh, take that. Wait. I think this isn't... Oh. Oh, you can nuke the corpses. That's cool. You know, if I had the skills and the money, I would remake Daikatana. There's potential in this game. Yeah, but you know what? You know what, Kaz? Use your, use your creative potential and make something new. You don't you don't need Daikatana. Let the let let this be. Do you think Idol should have stayed British or moving to Canada helped them? Um, I think I don't know. Um, I don't really know how the corporate structure changed uh, after Square bought them. Cause I know then that a lot of Cause I mean Crystal Dynamics is still out of the Bay Area, I think. Uh, I think a Idos Montreal was um, I think they created that before the acquisition because everyone's everyone wants those uh, fat you know Quebecois tax breaks what does this sign say what does this sign say um, so I don't really know what all changed behind the scenes and um, obviously IDOS being based out of Britain didn't really help them you know as a company warning do we have a rave going on up here? What's going on? Oh, I don't like... Uh oh. What's going on? I hear him. I hear him. There he is. Remember those days when you could kill an enemy from like 20 miles away? Come on. Come on. There we go. Ah, yes. Yes, that's exact. That's good translation. Hey, health. I love health. Wait, what's that sound? There's a sound of something going on. So is that frogs? Are those frogs? That's a... Is that a mecha shark? If I'm running out of ammo, I have no idea. I can't see the AI, the UI at all. Hang on. Zero armor, 100 health, 102 ammo. Alright, I'm doing alright. I think I have to shoot these things. I gotta do something. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't like what is going... Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey. Well, I don't like that. And there's a dragon flyer in here somewhere. Is there a power up? Try and attack me underwater, you jerk. Where are you at? 
There's a dragonfly. Uh oh, I don't, that's a lot of those. Let's go up a ladder. Hey, get out of the way. That was ridiculous. Wow. I didn't like that at all. Okay, guys, it's 2 a.m., so I'm off. Good night, everybody. It's happy to see you all. Thank you, Faronis. I'll mention you periodically in a way that only you will know. <laughs> Did I go too far back? Did I not save enough? Oh. Eat a crap. Sleep well, Faronis. Oh, hang on. I'll answer your question in a second. I gotta get rid of these robot frogs. Alright, we got it. We got it. There's gotta be something over here. How do you feel about IO leaving Square? Was it great for them, or would you have created a better Hitman with Square? They tried to make a better Hitman with Square. They made the first one with Square. Um, but obviously, uh, Noclip has a really good documentary about IO. IOI. Um, oh, fuck. Bring dragonflies. Eat crap. Uh, Noclip has a really good documentary about how IOI has really changed over the years. And uh, how they really kind of botched the, um, the, the episodic release of the rebooted Hitman. And so I don't... Like, uh... You know, I don't know. Square Enix is obviously in a tighter situation now that you know than they were five ten years ago right Danny was the best of game spot I yeah I agree with that I think they uh, I don't know too many of the other personalities there but now that Red Ventures owns them it's like who knows you see who knows what's going on there we're gonna save we're gonna do that thing that was oh that's that's beautiful right there uh, where's that mecha? So, uh, I think IOI being independent is pretty cool so long as they make good decisions. They obviously don't have the full financial backing, you know, that they once had being a subsidiary of Square. But also they don't have to do whatever Square wanted, even if ultimately IOI was doing whatever they wanted in the first place. So, you know. Ow. Okay. Alright, I got you. Where's the Mecha Godzilla? Here we go. Wait, where's all this death coming from? Alright, so we can hang out back here. This is one of the games I've never played of Eidos. I don't blame you in the slightest. Not in the slightest. Ion pack. I not, wasn't even running out of ammo, really. What's my health at? My health sucks. But I wanted to go up this way. I remember one of the first uh, uh, Penny Arcade comics I read was about Daikatana. Because this design is law thing. It's like, man, uh, what do you want on your hot dog? Okay. So, we're back here. How about we save? Because saving sounds good. And... We do the thing. Oh, this is great. Oh, shit. This is a nightmare. This is a hellscape. Can you imagine this is the year 2000 and you're playing this game for the first time? And it's like, this is what we wait. If design is law, Romero is guilty of breaking the law. I agree with you, good sir. <laughs> he is a law breaker, you could say. 
All right, we got to kill more of these dragonflies. Hey, can you imagine waiting like five years for this game and then this is the game you got? This is seriously the worst. This is seriously the worst. Where are the rest of these things? Alright, this one then. This is like uniquely terrifying. I saw an article saying that immersive sim is not as small as we think. What do you think about that idea? How do you mean? Like as far as like market share or or what? Romero's gonna make you his bitch with a bad game. Yeah, that ad I remember. I remember when that ad came out. I remember PC Gamer when that ad came out. Hey, no, I said no. I'm setting a boundary here, buddy. You die. I don't want to die here. This really... Hey. Hey, stop it. Stop it. You too. Cut it out. That's nice, but uh, can you just die? This is... World-class level design right here. I'm, g I'm gonna kill this guy. Oh, schnizzle. I like everything about this. First impressions are everything. I agree. What the heck? Small is an appeal. Dyslexia is making me struggle. No problem, buddy. Not a problem in the slightest. Um, so your question is... Uh, immersive sims are not as small um, as far as uh, appeal and I think we have to look at I mean because playing the outer worlds one thing that's really made me realize is that immersive sims are really just kind of slimmed down role playing games and with all kind of all games going in this direction where everything has a talent tree like every game you play has talent trees, everything has experience points. What the? Am I supposed to shoot something? Uh, eventually, everything kind of just becomes a role playing game, right? And then immersive sims are then immediately appealing. Um, did I just do that? That makes no sense. So. Immersive sims are very expensive to make because you have, just like role playing games are, you have to make a lot of content. It's gotta be a switch here or something. Did I have to switch? Well, I don't even know what that was. So I think immersive sims are kind of just the natural progression of all games because no one wants to play like just a shooter anymore, right? They want, even when you're playing Fortnite. You're still playing, there's stuff going on. You're still upgrading things to some extent, where you're buying stuff. I'm kind of talking to my butt. I haven't played enough Fortnite. But, uh. Is this. Is that sh that's a shield. That's nice. But, uh, I. I. I, I labor to remember the last big. I think I remember getting stuck here last time. I labor to think of the last big immersive sim that they didn't just call a role-playing game. I mean, when you think about it, you know, Skyrim is just a really elaborate immersive sim where you can play it in a bunch of different ways. Uh, Outer Worlds is basically the same. 
I don't know if that really answers your question. <laughs> uh, are we gonna have to like the dig our way through this? Mentally impaired cousin, <laughs> maybe. I know I, I've got 36 browns left. Um, did that thing wait down there? Hmm. I don't want to jump down there. There's no ladder. Maybe I have to. Maybe we have to. Are we? Do we have? If I can save the game. Well, yep, I'm sure. Man, I don't ever remember getting lost. Well, maybe I do. All right, maybe shoot out the lights. Maybe. I thought it was. I seriously, I played this years and years ago. Like I thought it was this. And there's these illuminated lights, but there's lights in there too. Um, and since the ion blaster, like, mm, yeah, see, there's more of these lights. Wow, I don't know how that happened, but okay. I'm shooting a whole bunch. I'm almost at a well, I got 27 rounds. I love getting just lost in first it's the 90s. Okay, okay, hang on. People were mad that I got lost in the Dark Project Thief and I was doing like this. Like what the hell am I supposed to do? And they're like, "Oh, you just had to know like this and this and you had this special document from wherever." And there's no ladder down. You can't safely go down there. I don't know if I have a favorite IDOS game. I think probably, it, I mean, by proxy, it's Deus Ex, right? Uh, Deus Ex is the, the greatest shooter of all time. And I will call it a shooter. I will definitely call it that. But... Like, I didn't get into two... Oh, shit. Okay. Boo, boo, boo. Uh, I didn't get into Tomb Raider at all growing up. I did play a little bit of the reboot. Daikatana doesn't have the uh, luxury of documents unless you're talking about a walkthrough. You know, I think we should open a walkthrough for this. And see if you can help me guide me out of this stupid space. That is not going anywhere. Um, I never played Hitman, although I know you did request, Dylan, I think it was you, you requested um, that I do a uh, review of the uh, Hitman games, and uh, it's on my mind, but uh, I, I, the idea of playing a whole bunch of games in a series right now is uh, a little tough. If you go into our Discord, Dylan, uh, I've got a list of stuff that I'm working on now. Yes, Game, game Facts. Rescue me, please. Uh, if you go into the Discord, Dylan, join the Discord. I got the link in the description. That looks promising. Come on. Nope. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I've got some pinned comments about stuff I want to work on in the future. And I don't think I put Hitman in there yet, but I'd like to do like pre reboot and then post reboot uh, Hitman games because I've never played any of them. But me not being able to work on this full time it's like man I don't have time to work on a five game review which is what I ultimately want to do okay I wonder if I have to go back uh, I wonder if I have to go back and uh, even further I'm glad that each 
save is in a new slot, but uh... Yeah, exactly. It was a while back since the poll. Exactly. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah! Hiro Miyamoto's skull appears to be split open. Mmm. Mmm. This is not the greatest. <laughs> this is not the greatest, I must say. I must admit. Where's the... Why can't... Are those doors? Is that what those are? Do, 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 do. Do I have to... Wait. Oh, look at that punch graphic right there. That's hecka cool. Oh, look at that. I have to admit, this does look better than... Uh, this does look better than Deus Ex. This really does. Because this is running on Quake 3. It Tech 3. And... Uh, the original and Deus Ex was running on the original Unreal. You actually have to get down there. However, I have no idea how to do it safely without taking damage. Well, thank Vols, Valsive. Oh, thank you, buddy. So we're gonna have to shit. Okay. We're gonna have to go back to an earlier save, thank god. Oh wait, that might not even help us at all. Nope, we're gonna have to go back even further. No, we're gonna we're gonna do it the right way. We're gonna play it legitimately as God intended. And here's a Is that an Imperial symbol? It looks like an Imperial symbol. The first order? All right, all we have to do is I have at 21 health. Shit. Maybe we have to go back even further. Maybe, did I kill everyone? How far back do I have to go? Um, let's try this one. Uh, I actually have health in here still. That's good. That's good. And I even have access to a ladder. I'm an idiot. There's a ladder right here. Oh, yeah, and uh, shit! And, uh, okay, stop, stop, stop. Everyone stop. Everyone stop. This game is great. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's a game. Fucking stupid. Okay, we're good. Disembarking, uh, embarking and disembarking on ladders in these early first-person shooters is always sort of a nightmare. Uh, sh shit! Okay. Let's go into the part here. Ah. Uh. All right, so I've got plenty of ammo, but my health is guard. I'm at six health. This is amazing. We are definitely reloading. Uh, let's go back to here. Uh, I already don't like this game. Robo frogs and crocodiles, and what's even happening in this game? Why would this be your first? Why would you think this is the best way to start a game? Why would you do that? John Romero hiding in the audience here for the, <laughs> the stream. Why would you think this? I know this was 20 years ago. This is 21 years ago. 
guys. This is 21 years ago. Come on. Come on, you dumb jerk. Alright, we're gonna save now. We're gonna make a new sp spot. Because we are cool here. We're not gonna fall into the pit. We're gonna do that later. We're gonna hide in our corner here and take down these stupid things. I'm getting really good at this. Oh, you're going out. Oh, fuck. Oh, you're making me work for it, aren't you? And there's still a big freaking Mothra up there. Come on. Come on. At least the projectiles are slow. There you go. Ugh. Don't, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's mean. No, don't do that. Ugh, yuck. Nope. Homing projectiles. What kind of crap is that? There we go. That's that's what I want. Was that supposed to drop up there? Well, I got armor. You can find an invisibility orb below below that red gate if you crouch around to the right side. Below the red... Oh, is it down below? Okay. Alright, can we make it across without dying? Hang on, now that we've made it this far... Save often, save always. Can we make it without dying? Can we do it? Alright. I don't appreciate that in the slightest. I think immersive sims do have RPG elements, but it tries to differentiate from RPGs with from the type of choices. I think they're, it's really just like a, a more curated game, right? I mean, it's got some of the guts of a role-playing game, but it tries to... This is amazing. I like this. This is great. <sighs> Immersive Sims really try to highlight what kind of gameplay uh, that you're possible. In a role-playing game, it's more organic. It's more... Crash, welcome, buddy! Hey! How you doing? Welcome. Welcome back to the green room. Good to see ya. Uh, RPGs are more, uh, they have more emergent gameplay. You can do more things. Like Morrowind, you could kind of create your own gameplay as you saw fit. Maybe this will be better. Oh, that's so smart. Look at me. I am so smart. Where's the damn frog? Nick Faldi, your fright. There's a lone name of, yeah, this one over here. Yes. There's a frog in here. Where's the fucking frog? Where are you? You stupid freaking frog. I bet that gate's open over here, isn't it? Is that what we're doing? Where's the frog? Where's the frog? <laughs> Where's the frog? Alright. That's fine. Wait. There you are. What's going... Who is attacking me? Ah. <sighs> Ah, why is my health? I have six health, eight health. Yeah, the cave with the health, the bars. Yeah, yeah. But I hear sound. That is an awful sound. This is the first time seeing the game, but I think I've heard the name before. Yeah, it's legendary. It's infinite. This oh shit. Hiro Miyamoto failed at life. That's um, That makes me feel better. Yeah, Crash, it's great to see you. I'm doing... I'm doing splendidacular. Why didn't I... Why didn't I think of this before? Why didn't I think of this before? 
This is a legendary game. This was infamous. Cost 30 million dollars to make or so. I think I'm killing myself slowly. I don't think it likes water. I don't think that's what... I think it electrifies the water and then damages me. And why did I do that? That's really dumb. Ugh. This, uh, this game was not loved when it came out. And I'm here to love it. I'm here to deliver the love. That was really bad. As Robin would say, show me love and what it's all about. All right. I watched the video through walkthrough, then the guy stumped in the same place you were for about five minutes before he realized he should fall down. If I was not at supremely low health... Shit, why am I stuck? Okay. Okay. If I was not stuck at supremely low health after killing all those people... Hey, we got a hundred... Hey, it's the Thief Gold is Okay guy. <laughs> Metal Taffer, welcome. <laughs> uh, yes, that's accurate. That is accurate. We were talking about Taffer. Good, ti good timing, good timing. Because we were talking about getting stuck up here. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Because if I fall off, I die. That was not... In I did not intend that. That was, that, was, that was a dumb move on my part. But... As a design, like, what am I supposed to do? This fight up here with the dragonflies has left me with very limited health. And I'm supposed to hop down? If I hop down, I die. But, uh, I had to just load back to another point. And then I was like, man, the Dark Project was like that. The Dark Project was like that. Where I was like, what the heck am I supposed to do now? What am I supposed to do? I need to save the game. I love that sound. It's such a relief. It's such a relief. Can we do this? Why am I killing my... Why does that do that? Why does that do that? Do I need to switch to my fists? Do I need to punch some fucking frogs? My fists are turning the frogs gay is what's going on. Alright. Alright. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Heck. Okay. Alright. Alright. Everything is- Fuck. You. God. Why do you even play new games? Why do we even play new games? We've got these old ones that are just sitting here. Been replaying Deus Ex. Man, is it good. It is so good. Deus Ex is really good. Uh, last week, of course, we had the stream with, where we played uh, the revision mod. And that was- not as good? Wait, I don't want to load, I want to save. Huh. I'm glad I have unlimited saves, I guess. Uh, Deus Ex is amazing. My goodness, it's amazing. We were talking earlier in the podcast about the reboot anniversary and how Deus Ex, that video, changed this entire cha the trajectory of this entire channel. Oh. Oh, I don't like this at all. Fuck you! Dude! Don't just charge at me like that. Do you watch What Happened YouTube series? I am not familiar with that offhand. I am not familiar with that offhand. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's a frog. There is a frog. Come up here. Oh, man. I got a dragonfly, too. Eat crap, you stupid dragonfly. Eat crap. Those are some real battle toads. Can you? Those no, you can't do anything with the plants. Can't do crap with the plants. Wait, does the scroll wheel? I guess this was patched to let the uh, scroll wheel work. Is that a? All right, that's fine. That's fine. I know at a point we actually go into a sewer. I remember that. I got at least that far. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey. Hey, you can die. I don't like you. Yo, yo! Orzine, welcome to the club, G! By the way, I figured out the, why the poison gas at the Don Kong 
Donk Kong. Donk Kong. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I'm so sorry, everybody. I figured out why the poison gas at the Hong Kong Hella Base did not work. Apparently, the Godi edition uses an older version of the maps compared to the original. Huh. So that's why in my review, the, the gas didn't work in Hong Kong. That makes a lot of sense. Thanks, Metal. Because that was the most surprising thing was I remember originally playing Deus Ex 20 years ago and you use the damn gas in Hong Kong and it killed everybody. Like, you just go and everyone's freaking dead. Everyone's dead. But then when I played it again with the uh, Game of the Year edition off Steam, um, it, it didn't work. And I'm like, that's strange. And I think I said that in the review. I don't remember. I don't like that sound. I don't Every t I look at these and I think poison like toxic well. There's a patch that fixes that. I wonder why that wasn't included in um, shit, 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 shit. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I got my punch. I got my fists. I got my fists. I got my plan. I got my survivalism. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. Yeah. Um. So to get. Uh, Deus Ex Game of the Year edition working. So is this a button? Is there a button I'm supposed to know about? Wait. I think I know what it is. Uh, I patched it huge, so I wonder why the patch wasn't included in that. That's strange. Is that why it's got a shield on it? What a weird fucking... What a weird fucking game. How about, um, we're gonna save. We're gonna save. That's what we do here. Save often, save always. Uh, I'm just wasting ammo away. All right, we're gonna go this way. What is that? I can't recall if the particles didn't just spread enough or the triggered spawn with place poor. I wonder if it's the particles because the, uh, that poison goes really far. Um, but I don't think it goes far enough to the barracks, and it just seems weird that it doesn't... What the heck is going on? Am I have to crouch him here? What is... That's weird. Who designed this level geometry? Is this one of those, like, late 90s things where you have to, like, f fuck with it to get something to work? I don't know. All the soldier maybe for one are up in that little break room for when I could tell. They're in the break room and then the barracks. Um, wait, was I not supposed to be up here? Am I up here for no reason? Is this set dressing? Am I, supposed to... I first played the OG Deus Ex after playing Human Revolution. Wow, and it still blow me. What? Well, yeah, I think I remember you saying that in your uh, in the comment, and I'm like, man, that that's a uh, that's awesome, because Deus Ex deserves to be played. It is an artifact of its time, and it is the best one of the best games ever made. And um, so yeah, to go to the original Deus Ex from Human Revolution with all of Human Revolution's quality of life fixes, that's something. So kudos to you. And then to enjoy it as much. Is that your, um, do you, is the OG Deus Ex your favorite of the series? Do I need a key? All right, now we're stuck again. Do I have to crawl under here somewhere? Well, I'm, well, good for you. I'm join. welcome to the Deus Ex Club. I'm sure a war inspector would sign off on that. You loved it so much you eventually got a big box version. Is it foil? Like, is it the original foil? Shiny and stuff because that's the one I got or I went ahead. I would love to have a big box version again with the the big um, Gatefold in front and the, the the gatefold CD case that's made out of crap garbage You you guys in your shiny Louise, I really need help <laughs> I don't know what to do 
Oh, God. Um, oh, you lucky taffer. Ugh. You stupid crap. Who designed this level? Who designed this game? God damn it. <laughs> Where's the Robert Frost balloon? It's just wave the Robert Frost balloon at it. That'll make it work. <laughs> Damn it, Brink. Oh, this sucks. And then, like, that that door's got a... But that's... Amp Ugh. Is there an alt fire? You still cannot get past the first level infiltration of the statue. Which game? Oh, oh, Deus Ex. Yes! Liberty Island is a game that is a trial. I said that in the uh, Human Revolution, Human Mankind Divided review. I'm like, yo, wait, oh wait, I'm an idiot. Um, Liberty Island is a game, as Randy Smith intended, was supposed to test all of your skills. At what I'm saving, you know, save Elfton so always. Blah 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 You can play this with a joystick? You can play this with a joystick. God, how stupid would that be? That'd be so 90s. Sorry, I'm British and somewhat drunk. Yeah. I don't think the British really appreciate Liberty Island as much as we do. Just saying, Dylan. I came late to Deus Ex, but it's already been almost 10 years, so I guess I have the right to veteran. You know what? I'm gonna... You, you know what? The nth review is gonna mail you your Deus Ex veteran badge. Uh, it's gonna take six to eight weeks. Best wait till it all blows over. I agree. Some peeps did play FPS games. I played FPS games with uh, joysticks. Uh, and then I still have to use page up and page down to... Uh, Look up and down and stuff. I don't know what to do. Help me walk through gods. <laughs> have I seen Shaun of the Dead? I have not. I've seen Hot Fuzz. Um, I've seen... I have to... Yeah. That's, that was what I was trying to do. I was trying to jump on here and then like but I can't jump over here and like the geometry is too weird can I do the nope I can't do that you started with Deus Ex then got Invisible War finally finished one so you didn't even fin it okay okay that makes sense did you f so you didn't finish uh, Invisible War even though I remember Invisible War being a bit easier than uh, Deus Ex. Yeah, Randy Smith wanted, uh, as I've seen in the review, Deus Ex, Randy Smith wanted a, a level where it's like, bro, here's everything you can do at once, have fun, figure it out. This is a test of all your abilities. I don't like that sound. This this 90s trip hop breakbeat techno soundtrack is really, you have to slow, slide, you have to slowed. Slide, slowed, 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 slowly to the right. Okay. What kind of level design is that? Okay. Can. Oh, that's shit. Hang on. So this is the walk. The walk speed looks like a run, but it's not. Oh, and yeah, that's right. Control is. Um... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so terrifying. Why would you, how would you know to do that? Ugh, 90 shooters suck. That's why they, oh my god, this is so stupid. This is stupid. This is so dumb. Kind of by, but I'm gonna say it, I prefer the Thief games over Deus Ex. You know what, you're entitled to your opinion, buddy. Well, I'm glad I got this far. You know what we do at this point? That's right. I don't know if that changed anything. 
Oh, I did it. I did the thing. I did the thing. Thank you, Louise. Thank you for being my wingman. <laughs> Great. We got it, guys. And that was a shield on here. Oh, Stampede. Um, yeah, no, that's cool. Uh, I was saying metal with the uh, lag there. I don't know if it gets better if you refresh it. Because I've got... I'm, I'm looking at YouTube and um, Twitch right now. Um, and yeah, YouTube obviously... Oh, shit. YouTube. Hey, hey, you can you can die. It seemed pretty similar, but yeah, I can understand Twitch is just better for streaming. Which is odd because freaking YouTube. I mean YouTube is the video giant. Yeah, all of us have our all of us have our multiple aliases, don't we? That's why you like and subscribe and you follow on both. I was seven when the first came out. Now the AI just fucks me over. The improvements from hu uh, Human Revolution would be great for a remaster. I think so. But even, I mean, when you think about it, Human Revolution is now eight years old. No. 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 We were talking about this in the Discord. Join the Discord if you haven't already. Join the Discord. Um, Deus Ex is, is uh, Human Revolution is ten years old this year. It's ridiculous to think about, but Deus Ex or Human Revolution is 10 years old. It needs a remaster. Even though I had a director's cut that released in 2013, which is the one that, oh my god. What is good? Is that a civilian? Yo. You're a human. Are you cool? Well, we have we all have Twitch. That's why we have Twitch. We have with Twitch and YouTube. It doesn't really matter. I don't care. Whatever. Oh, bye. On uh, YouTube, it's set for oh shit. It's set for oh shit. Is what it's set for. Can we do it? You are 15 years old in 2011. That's young, bro. You're young. You're practically a child. My health is at 53. Okay. So, we've made it here. Do I need to talk? Here's a giant door. Can I punch the door open? Alright. You're a small boy! Hi, Crash. Well, thank you for hitting hitting this up on both sides, bro. That's what we do here in the green room. As we do, do I have to kill this dude? That felt really mean. <laughs> I feel bad. How did all this meat come from that one guy? That's impossible. You would kill for a faithful Deus Ex remake. Yeah, we were talking about it last week, right? We are talking about it last week. It's like, if you remade the original Deus Ex, what do you do? Like, how far do you go? Do you just buff up the graphics so that it looks new? Kind of like we were talking about with Revision? Or do you go through and change, like, the fundamental gameplay? And then if you go that far, are you then pissing off the loyalists like me who don't want, I don't know, I guess a simpler game or whatever? Because you can remove skills from Deus Ex entirely and integrate those as Augs. You said faithful? Fine. But Devil's Advocate just thinking out loud here. Where's the switch? Um, they could remove skills from um, Deus Ex and you would still be good. I thought that was tied to that turret there, but oh, oh shit, I don't like what's going on in here. 
don't remove them, make them useful? Ah, uh, sure, I guess, but at the same time, like, why would you need them if you just had good augs? I mean, that's what all the other Deus Ex games did, and I think that was pretty smart. You need to fix the AI that does not just walk into you, even though it would not be on their path. Yeah. The AI of the original Deus Ex is not good. Okay. There's a dragonfly near. Oh, you're up here. Blah, blah, blah. Why are all these civilians just chilling here? Why do these need two hits? Okay. Alright. Alright. What is... This is... What is going on? There is so much going on. Like, that guy is out there. And there are civilians floating around here. And nothing makes sense. But there's... And this guy's, like, right in my... <laughs> Dude, bro, come on, I'm trying to... I'm trying... And even added a stealth skill, less noisy when... Hang on. GMDX did something cool with swimming and stuff, they just created an athletic skill, that makes sense. And even added a stealth skill, less noisy when running, no drop-down sound. Um, and your main struggles with the AI in the first game. What is your primary struggle with the AI from the first game? Aside from the fact that it's not good. Uh, we're gonna do what we do. Uh, I do want to play GMDX though. Uh, I know a lot of people were a uh, asking me last week about doing GMDX versus Revision and that makes sense. I wanted to play with the newer looking levels but uh, I do want to see what they actually change in terms of the gameplay. Uh, and then that would probably change that would probably change my mind on skills You know, I'm malleable. I can change my mind when presented with uh, new evidence and no problem with that Except Mad Max is a terrible game terrible game And that will always be true no matter what All right now I gotta find a switch for this thing. There's cl this is clearly a door bro Is he dabbing? This dude is dabbing. Nick, go back to the pipes. That door's open now? Alright. Why would... Why didn't the game... I need to stop asking questions of this game. Love this quote from Born Spectre. Oh my gosh, if people compare our combat to Half-Life, or a stealth to Thief, or a role-playing to Neverwinter Nights, we're dead. But if they figure out they can do anything they want to play it however they desire and find their own fun, we are going to rule the world. And yep, that is absolutely... He said it... That is a common quote that he gives when talking about them. Uh, he gives that in his GDC talk as well. Um, and yeah, absolutely. They're like Each individual thing that De the original Deus Ex does uh, is not great in... Um, on its own but uh you know when you take it together when you make your own decisions uh that's where Deus Ex shines all right Louise we got part of the way through this uh, I don't but I don't think why is there no destructible in but all right well we're not getting through there as a stealth player, it would walk, just walk toward me, even though it had no reason to, then I would be found. Uh, yeah! You know, we're talking about <clears throat> Thief being better than Deus Ex or whatever. But, uh, Thief would do that enough times when I was hiding in pitch black darkness. Usually it was after I'd alerted them that I was like, what the heck, Thief? Like, what? What's even going on? And that made me kind of, that kind of... You know, even though the AI of the Dark Project and Thief 2 was, like, way ahead of its class at the time, that's the part that kind of killed the magic for me. I usually go for a pacifist, ghost, stealth run, and deus ex, but this time I'm doing a do-whatever run, and it's so much fun. 
Yeah, uh, that's typically how I've played Deus Ex. Like, I'll play stealth until I'm bored, and then I'll get into combat, and then I'll play combat until I'm bored, and I'll go to stealth, and you can just seamlessly go back and forth, and it's so amazing. It's so amazing. I love that Deus Ex lets you do that. I really feel like you should get, like, a data disc or something from here. Or Walton Simon should pop up and tell you that you suck or something. Deus Ex did not even need to be alerted. Like, uh... Um... The AI would not... Yeah, yeah, because... Yeah, that had... Sorry, Nick, in that vault you have to activate the computer, then it's gonna open a door. The door upstairs? Hang on, there's gotta be, like, a button for... Is there... Tech... Operate... Enter. Okay. Thanks, Louise, you set me right. Finding ways of taking everyone down non-lethally is quite fun, too. I hit the wrong button. Okay, okay. Using a crossbow a lot. Yeah, Deus Ex is a harder game to play stealthily because it's... AI is so bad. I mean, it's... It's, it's basic. I think Warren had a special word for it. It's not convincing or something like that. We're gonna do what we do. And, uh, I keep doing that. I really gotta just change it. That's our fuck. We're gonna... It's dumb, but the level will kind of dumb. You know what? That sound... That's exact. That's perfect. That is just perfect. Enter. It's gonna be E. Yes. Yes, we're gonna use the scroll wheel to change our weapons. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, so we got health, and we got ammo. Now we're going through the waterfall. We're gonna save first. The lovable kind of dumb. That's what this game is right here. Where where are you at, Dragonfall? Ah, what's um? Hey, ah, there's crap everywhere. What's going on? I'm just running away at this point. What is happening? Am I running out of ox? Can we do it? 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 Oh my god. Oh, you want to die. <sighs> Alright, hang on. Up, 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 up. <sighs> okay. 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 This is really intense. This game just got really intense for a second here. Oh shit, why did I do that? Don't- you can't fire the ion cannon underwater. Ion blaster, sorry. Here's a heart. You're energized by the golden soul. What the fuck does that mean? What does that even mean? How much health do I- oh, I have 110 health. Oh, but it's clicking down. I'm gonna save the game. I'm gonna- g <sighs> I'm gonna hold my- I'm gonna catch my breath here a second. Whew. <sighs> I think I saw someone, a guy in a coat. Probably just some holes. I would walk 50 yards away from them, go into cover in darkness, but they would leave their pathing and still find you. And it's like a cruise missile just coming straight towards you. Straight towards you. Yeah, there's definitely some stuff. I don't know anything about Dark Souls. Rain does. He could tell him. Oh, fuck. I thought that was a power up. No, it's just a dragonfly. We're still down in the marsh. Why are we still down in the marsh? I swear I played a lot. F I did not play this much of this game, and I thought I was farther. I love when the golden soul energizes me. Very normal business. That's usually what I do. When I go down to Walgreens, or whatever, uh, 
that's usually what I do is I pop open my golden soul. I grab my golden soul. It comes in a little um, bottle. What's my opinion on the System Shock games? I'm going to tell you. Uh, I'm going to do an interview on the System Shock games. That's my. That's what my opinion is on those. I don't know when I'm going to get to that review. Um, but that is in the. Uh, it's on. It's on the plan. It is on the. Oh my God! More pipe. It's on the plan to do System Shock, and then immediately afterward, uh, Bioshock. I'm going to do the System Shock games and then the Bioshock games. Level up. What the heck is level up? Do I have, have I had abilities here? Where is my, what is going on? Do I have, do I have, um, talk to team. I guess that's for boost power, boost attack. The only good Marsh is Nick Marsh. Oh my God. Thank you guys. Yes. I'm going to do. I want to do all the shocks. Here's my here's my problem, guys. If I'm gonna be real with you, it's the fact that these reviews and, I'm, and this yes, this is a Patreon pitch right here in front of you. Is uh, these reviews take about three months to do, three to four months to do, and I would love to do them on a monthly basis so I could do more of them. Um, but I can't do that unless I get more Patreon support or suddenly get a million hits overnight. So. Uh, you know, if you got at least a dollar a month, you can contribute to the interview on Patreon, patreon.com slash the interview. And I will do all the shocks all day long and I'll make it a 20 hour video. I will not make it a 20 hour video. That was a lie. I told you right now. Uh, and then, you know, all the fun stuff that can come along with it. So, uh, but obviously, you know, if you don't have a dollar a month, hey, no problem. No problem. Just enjoy uh, this. How do you even, how do you even, how do you even? Do I have to sign numbers? Do I have to sign? Um, can I do shit? I can't do that. Maybe I can. No. 20 hours video. 20 hour videos are the future of YouTube. I have dreamt of making a 20 hour video. Or a 12, so YouTube's limit is 12 hours or um, like 100 gig, I think. Something like that. Right, this one is only 16 hours. 20 hours would be ridiculous, yeah. Do you think Bioshock is still uh, is, is an immersive sim or is it too simplified? It's too simplified. Uh, yeah, the Bioshock games are too simplified, but System Shock is different. System Shock is definitely different. Um, cool. Let's try that. I don't know what the fucking, fucking whatever's going on. Daikatana, you can, so you can, I totally forgot, you can, um... Uh, Yes. Wait. I want to do... Alright, so this will be G. No, maybe not. So that's H. Make the H. Uh, J. K. L. Yeah. We'll replace that. And then Vitality. Cool. Cool. Immersive Sims, Romega, like uh, Deus Ex, Deus Ex, Deus Ex, and System Shock 2, and Thief-ish. There was actually, I can't remember who did the video. They did an Immersive Sims video. I'm subscribed to them. Now, with that answer, how do you feel about Deus Shock being a poster boy for uh, Immersive Sims? I think that... In my discourse, we're saving the game. Well, in my discourse about um, Bioshock, I don't think I've heard anyone just outright say it's an immersive sim. 
The poster boy for Immersive Sim is Deus Ex, period. End of line. Like, I've, ha I've had back and forth on Thief being an Immersive Sim. We talked about that in the Thief... Thief game... Thief review, that long-ass one I did. I don't know why I'm drinking water when I got a Diet Pepsi over here. But, uh... Like, Bioshock does not... It's not... It's not ready. It, it doesn't have... You can't really... I mean, you have different powers. You'd have different abilities. Stuff like that. But, uh... It, I don't know. I can see the argument for it. But, honestly, it's less of an immersive sim than... Even... Thief is. Alright. We're gonna go into the seizure room here. Everyone watch your shit. What is going on here? Uh-oh. Oh, thank god. Wait. Oh, okay. Sure. That's fine. That's fine. In my humble opinion, System Shock 2 is a dungeon crawler RPG package like a first person shooter, while Dio Shock is a streamlined SS1 with all the good things in SS2 added. I think I think I can get behind that. SS1 is Gosh, I'm gonna do a review about it someday, but SS1 is a very um It's a it's a What is going on? Oh, Eat shit. SS1 is like a hardcore fucking game. It's a hardcore game. And, uh. Whoa, whoa. Everyone chill in here. No. Uh, even S System Shock 2 even feels like, uh. Uh, slim down compared to the original System Shock, which is okay because System Shock 1 is kind of unapproachable. Uh, I remember downloading the System Shock 1 as an abandonware in college when I was up there with Orzine, and uh, I remember that was a that could be a tough game to get into. There's someone around here. Deus Ex Thief Prey. Yep. Prey. Absolutely. That That is definitely immersive ass sim. Uh, Dishonored. Yeah. Yeah. Ultima Underworld and System Shock are all considered immersive shock. However, Bioshock is also brought up with uh, maybe because of the 0451. That was a... Uh, that's a... Um, Looking glass thing. Uh, that was their security code. So you see that in uh, Thief. Or is it Thief? I don't think Thief has it. But uh, all of those immersive sims have 0451. That's like, you, if you build an immersive sim, you have to put that in there somewhere. Well, I guess we're going this way. This looks like something you blow up. Are these all. Are these shielded? I don't know what's going on. We're gonna save. System Shock 1, that makes a lot of sense. Because that's a looking glass game. System Shock 2 was uh, irrational, but it was... Shit, I don't like these sounds at all. Everyone can die. Everyone can die down here. Stupid. You didn't fish SS1 because of a glitch. Yeah? That's a freaking bomber. Whoa. We did it. We, d we did it, guys. We did this one. You were having a lot of fun? Well, damn it. I was posting- I posted the uh, new cyberspace section in the, uh, from the System Shock reboot that Knife Dive is doing. And it looks very pretty. It looks like Descent. Oh, Ultima Underworld. I'm progressing! Look at me! I don't have the firepower to blast through that gate. Why not? I wonder if I can... What the... Whoa. Who was... Ten minute cutscene here, guys.
Whoa, ghost explosion. That's hardcore. That's hardcore. Funny thing is it gives me song. I finished Dance Like for the first time about a half a year ago and fell in love with it instantly. Bless you, bless you. Funny thing is it gives me strong nostalgia vibes even though I never touched it before. Games and music just have this special place in my heart. You don't know. Yeah, I mean... Why is the dragonfly coming at me right after this? Uh, let's save here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like Master of Orion. Whatever your favorite Master of Orion is, it's what is the first game that you play. But um, Deus Ex is like, everyone goes back to that first one, and it's kind of like immediately their favorite. That said, if you, going back to the original Deus Ex is a hurdle in and of itself just because of its age, the graphics, the quality of life features, gameplay, stuff like that. And um, so if you can overcome all that and play the original Deus Ex even after playing Human Revolution and Demon Mankind Divided, uh, the odds are much better that you then love the fuck out of it and it's pristine there. There's a theory about the 0451 Fahrenheit 4511. Um, that's, I believe that's what everyone has believed, but Warren Spector has actually came out and said, and maybe he, even he's remembering it, but he said that like that was the security code to get into Looking Glass back in the day. So just kind of everyone, that's why it's the keypad in the game, the 0451, because when you got into the, into the keypad in Looking Glass, you have to use 0451. So, but even that, that might also be Fahrenheit 451. So here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're two hours in. I need to take a break. Don't go away. I'm gonna be back in like five, 10 minutes. Get your stretches in, grab your Diet Pepsis, hug your bees, hug your bees, guys, do it. And uh, we'll be right back with more Daikatana. Daikatana.
And we're back. Going back to the 9-11 comment as I was young, I remember being bored of the news as it was on every channel and being in England did not mean much to me. Um, I can understand that. Um, I know that it affected the world in a huge way. And I cannot uh, relate to the ennui of uh, people around the world, you know, not really getting it because it obviously didn't happen in you know your country so i mean i understand that oh we're great we're in the sewer system this is the best part let's talk about 9-11 as we're in the sewer system uh and deus ex bad guys destroyed the twin towers in a story due to lack of memory a year before 9-11 my recollection is that the story is it was uh, a fluke they just didn't get it into the background they didn't mean to forecast 9-11 uh in there also welcome back everybody hey how you doing this is your 9-11 Dicatonic ass. That, that is so weird. That is wrong. Alright, here we go. Okay, so he... Okay. I don't remember the sewer levels looking like this. I'm just... Ugh. Everything about this looks wrong. Orzine, are you still around? Do you have do you guys have verdicts on uh, an acro? Oh, are, there's a frog here just chilling, and you guys are don't ask questions of the game. Uh, an acronox. Osama bin Lava beaten Daikatana. You know he was in that cave fortress place for a while. So I mean, what else is he gonna do? That's a door. That's probably half the budget of this game is just that door. We're going down here. Oh, great. I do. I, I want to say I remember this. I want to say I do. Oh, won't budge. Won't budge. Four proper stairs, physics, or interactions. Is that the way I came in? That, that would explain it. So there's like another door that opened? Is that what's going on? Push that button. Those are some sounds. Those are some sounds. Wait. Why would you let me close that? Why would you let me close that? That doesn't make any... <clears throat> Nothing makes sense. You know what? Nothing makes sense. Why? Why are you there? Why are you there? Well, here we go. We're in the... Guys, this is the Universal Constructor. This is where we're going to be building the cure for the Black Death. Funny how both... Wait. Why did that happen? No, 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 no. Guys, no, fuck. Come on, 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 come on. Don't die down here. That was so dumb. That was so dumb. Seeing people standing looks so Half-Life 1. Yeah, this remarkably looks older than Half-Life 1. Okay. Alright. All right, all right, here we go. Fuck these fucking frogs. God. Ugh. Back here in Brazil, the folks old enough to remember the Cold War were fearful of a nuclear war in retaliation for 9-11. I am happy to report that in here in America, uh, we were not nearly as afraid of that. <laughs> I don't think anyone thinks it was like, oh, we're gonna nuke Afghanistan or what have you. Thankfully. 
Thankfully. Uh, well, fig finally, friggin... Who designed these levels? We're gonna save. We're gonna do the thing. I like this AI. I like what it's doing. I like that this gun is working as intended. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay! We got it. Psycho. Psy Psycho. Yes. Ah! <laughs> I got it. I got it. Why are there just frogs just chilling randomly everywhere? What in the hell? It has changed the world. I'm not sure for the better. It looks closer to Deus Ex than I like. This game has a lot of Anachronox and Deus Ex vibes. There's a lot of, you know, there's some talent in here. Obviously, between everything that happened. That's so that's fine, but how do we unlock? Okay, all right, we're just gonna do everything at once. That's fine. Yeah, and that's what I was gonna ask uh, Orzine. I don't. I think he might be on his own game. Uh, but Orzine uh, has played an Acronox, as I understand it, and obviously it's Tom Hall was the designer there. Tom Hall also worked at ID. He was a big. Uh, he was a big figure in charge of Commander Keen. Wrote a lot of the story behind that, and uh, he was also the dulcet tones of uh, Walton Simons. Psychosomatic, acted insane. Feel the pressure. Come play my game. I'll test ya. Come play my game. Let the elevator crush it there. God, play my game. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Bom, 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 bom. Yep. So the fans, st and there's a guy just. What is this game doing? What does this game do? I keep asking these questions. I keep saying I shouldn't. I'm not the biggest Prodigy fan, but I know that song. And, uh, I just know. Why do I know that song? Hang on. That was, um... Wasn't it Matrix? Hmm. I don't think Matrix had a Prodigy song. I don't think. Deus Ex had a plague to control the lower class. If you believe some people, that is what's happening. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. I don't know what that was, but uh, I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, so, so many games, so many dystopian games have um, parallels, have narratives that reflect... What the fuck? Why would I want that to close? Well, whatever, I don't care. Maybe we're never going back. Uh, about, you know, cl different classes. It's a tale as old as time, right? Or at least... Oh, shit. About classes versus classes, we're gonna do the thing. You know when you meet uh, Leo Gold up in the uh, oh shit, what the fuck is that? That was dumb. Why did that happen? Who designed this level? They did a bad job. I'm. Telling their teacher. <clears throat> but, um, I know there's a lot of amateurs. There's one in the Behind the Games article by Jeff Gilly. They talk about artists who are making like 2,000 pixel long arrows textures. And it was ridiculous. 
But in Deus Ex, yeah, they talk about ruling the uh, underclass, keeping them subjugated, stuff like that. Rain 101, I'll tell you all about that. Um, if you're not, if you um, need a, a politics stream and you do, go to twitch.tv slash rain101. Go check out my pal. And um, he'll tell you all about subjugation and, and class warfare and all that stuff. This guy, this guy right here, looks like he's straight. He looks like he's Barney from Half-Life One. Cyberpunk as a, as a genre is postmodernism as a genre. Sure, maybe that's like an aesthetic or something. I'm. I don't know what happened there. Controlling the ma the masses of cyber sunk cyber stunk people. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Why not? Why not? Why? What are you doing, dude? What are you? Why are you just screaming? Why are you just standing there screaming? Is it really traumatic in here? It feels like it. Um, this is... All these random, like, civilians in here are not really... Look at this dude. This dude's huge. Alright, well, that's that. The ideology of postmodernism is exactly what cyberpunk talks. I guess you'd have to just define postmodernism more, I guess. And postmodernism is kind of a big deal. What are these guys doing? Like, what the hell is happening? It's really tempting, guys. It is really tempting. Dude! Freaking stop! I thought this was the door I just opened. Oh, there's some stuff over here. That's cool. Did I have to... Did I have to... That was dumb. Why did I do that? All right, so I guess that's on a timer. Look at these ledges, how haphazardly laid out these things are. Like, how awful. Yes, I realize that we're not gonna get to that thing. We gotta, if we can get up here. Do I even need health? I don't even think I need health. Nope, I don't. I don't need health. I'm good. I haven't been paying attention to my health that much, but uh, you know. Surreal Mishima Factory of Surrealism. Oh my, you, this is an art piece right here. This needs to go into a museum. Look at this. This is art happening right now before your eyes. And the screaming? That's the music. That is the music of this world. And the door is fucking closed. God damn it. <laughs> so stupid. Why is this guy freaking out? Why? Why? Are, why is everyone freaking out? What is this? What is this tube? I don't like what's going on. I have to. I'm gonna have to go over the switch again. Why are these guys in the way? Why are these guys here? Why are these guys here? This is really testing my patience. This is really testing my patience. 
All right, we can do it. We can do it. Great. Let's go. We can do it. Oh, I guess I have a run. You motherfucker, why are you right here? This looks like the Gep gun from uh, Deus Ex. What is happening? Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Was that a frog? Did a frog just kill himself? Ugh, this is some real stuff. The dudes are screaming because you are buffed armor dude with a face only a mother of Ah, <sighs> Why is that so true? Why do I feel that in- oh my god. Wow. Well, a good thing there's a bunch of healing packs right here. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just do it. What am I stuck on? Do you like the sound? Do you like the sound that this is making? I started studying again so I can, in the future, go into psychology and in a in the course I'm doing sociology is part of it. Nice. Nice. Due to my love of cyberpunk and research into sociology, I get articles and lessons on how that talks about how cyberpunk talks about postmodernism ideas. I'd like to uh, I'd like to hear and read more. It sounds pretty rad. Romega, are you hanging out still? Where are you at? Oh, this is a ladder. That's what's going on. Oh, thank God. It sounds like a dragonfly is on my wrist. Ah, oh, why do I have this terrible thing on my wrist? Whoa, when did I get this gun? That was really dumb. Why did I do that? I just wanted to see if you're still there. Yeah, it sounds like a terrible chainsaw. The worst kind of chainsaw. I don't like that sound either. I'm gonna have to get into this room, aren't I? Let's do the thing. Oh, I love the emerging from the pipe thing. That's nice. That's nice, I like that. That's so stupid. Okay. Maybe there's something going on over here. I don't like that at all. Don't like it one bit. No Romancer surely feels like a modern novel in some places. I need to uh, reread that. I read that a uh, number of years ago, and I think I would get more out of it now. Hey. How about eat shit? You can do that. I have no idea when I acquired this grenade launcher, but I'm happy. Okay. So I guess we're going to go this way. But we're going to do the thing. And we're going to go down here. Why 
Why does this sound like an annoying piece of shit even underwater? Why is there so many underwater sections? I need health. Well, let's decide where we're going first, I guess. This whole thing is flooded. Health! I love it! I love health! Health is amazing. Oh, cool! It's draining the thing. Thank god. Have I tried the Metro books and uh, not just the games? I have not. I need to read more books. God, this knuckle... Oh, this melee is so awful. Okay. So... grab we can't we don't need to grab that thing we need to grab this thing um okay I like doing that this, um, am I supposed to re like reflood the place now or is that what's going on do I have to Yep, that's what I gotta do. Let's not get killed. Are you fucking serious? How does that even work? How does that even work? No, we're not dying. Uh, let's go back down in here. Let's go make it happen, guys. Oh, I think I know what we need to do. We need to somehow get over here. Oh, I'm smart. Uh, unless... Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't like what's going on here at all. We're not doing that. <sighs> you get the audiobooks. The books are so much better, and the critique of social ideas is so much better in the books. I will. Ha I. It's on. It's on my uh, pile of shame. Now it is. I think it's going to be smooth sailing from now on. I don't know. This game is not about smooth sailing. This is not about a good sailboating experience in the slightest. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right. You know, Romega, you should play Deus Ex. It's a really good game. I've heard from a confident source that Deus Ex is the best shooter of all time. And uh, they really back it. The the um, the gist of the of Daikatana's development, as I understand it, is that it was kind of like amateur hour all around, and John Romero wasn't strong enough as a as a supervisor really to um, kind of keep the game going the way it should have okay 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 we got it we got it 
We got it. Alright, we're gonna do the thing. We're gonna do the thing. Isn't there a fucking frog over here? Hey, that's not fair at all. Which is the good one? Mankind Divided or Invisible War? The first one. Deus Ex. Has anyone played the D Metro series here? Divide Mankind Divided? Not following. Metro series? I've played uh, an hour or so of um, uh, twenty, the second one, last or maybe it was Last Light. We did a Fez play for it back in the day. I've played all of the Deus Ex games here. That's why when you put your name in the game, you kill a dragonfly. You should supervise it pretty well, or not put your name on the game. Yeah. But I mean, that was kind of the. That's why they gave John Romero $30 million to make this game in 1999, which is a hell of a lot of money. This is a hell of a lot of money. A hell of a lot of money. Because Deus Ex, Human Revolution, Mankind Divided, Invisible War, and then the mobile game. Didn't we. We did. Uh, last week we did a, a ranking. I think we're both pretty similar on this. I own 2033? I bet I do. Wait, no! No, no! <gasps> I'm hiccuping in irritation. Why would you have ledges like this? Why would you have ledges like this? Why am I still asking questions about this game? Why am I doing it? I'm so stupid. Alright. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Alright. That was, that was weird. That was weird. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we can. We cannot use this. No. Nope. That was dumb. We're loading. We're not. I want, I want my health. No. Nah, nah. Okay. How are you supposed to get up there? Oh. Oh. Okay. Alright, we gotta... I don't, I don't... I don't like this level very much, I must admit. I must admit. What if we do this thing? Is that the sound of the door opening? Because I don't know. Come on, come on. Shh. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was scary. That was terrifying. We're gonna, we're gonna fucking. <laughs> it's okay, Dylan. <laughs> oh. You're good, buddy. Uh. Well, that's nice. Oh, you're there. Okay, so I have to race back across to... I have to admit, the, the level design here is pretty awful, but I it's more... It's clearer what I should be doing, and I'm at full health, so I guess I don't care that much. What is that? Is that... That's a grenade, I think. I think this is what... Why would a grenade just be chilling on top of a... Why would a grenade just be chilling on top here? Wait. Can I not... I cannot jump back on top of this thing. That's... 
Okay. Okay. Alright. I mean, that's fine. <sighs> In order to get the grenade, I have to lose health. And I have to do this stupid thing again. No! Alright. 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 We don't need the grenade. Uh, for the Metro games, it depends on if you like closed in games or uh, open games. Didn't they really change the um, formula on that between the games? Because um, playing Last Light. No! Well, that was dumb. That was that was my fault, I guess. Don't run into a place that has a giant robot. Freaking John Romero. John Romero, if you're watching this, man, I, I know you're not, but if you're watching this, um, bro, come on, man. Oh. Yeah, I guess you're right there. Right, we're gonna save. We're gonna do the thing. And we're gonna get going. And I almost fell there, and that was really scary. Okay, 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 okay. Alright. These sounds, these sounds. The fact that you can hear stuff through the walls is what really disorients me. And I haven't leveled up in a while, and that's weird. Fuck! That's right there. No, I did not play Sigil. I did not play Sigil. I know that's a like kind of a big deal. So, uh... Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright. I'm also not a big Doom guy, so, you know. Wait. We can do it. We can do it. That was dumb. Why did that happen? Why did I get hurt from that? Who designed these stupid mechs? They're like... These robots are what, like, you know, if you had a five-year-old design a robot, like, please design this robot. That's what, that's what John Romero did with these robots. They look like, or the humans with the giant shoulders, before you understand how humans look, you draw those giant shoulder lumps. Romero had such good games to his name, and then this. Yeah, this really set him back, and I know he's had a redemption story since. Uh, as I understand it, his entire family worked on the new strategy game, the new gangster strategy game, uh, Empire of Sin, but that came out, apparently, in a very unfinished state, very unbalanced, and uh, got critically raised. Which is interesting, because uh, he was uh, Brenda Romero... Yeah, Brenda Romero, John Romero's wife, was on a um, podcast with Jeff Green not that long ago. And uh, she, hearing her talk about Empire Sin was really cool. Uh, but then the game came out, and it's like, this is um, not good either. I mean, it's not Daikatana bad. Obviously, there's a way that you can fix Empire Sin in a way that you cannot fix Daikatana. You cannot fix this game. I'm sorry, Luis. I know this is your dream assignment. 
is to fix Daikatana and make a really good game out of this, but I think it's impossible. I think it's impossible. How do you feel about Paradox games? I feel they are mechanically heavy to the point of being obtuse. Uh, they usually have bad tutorials at the same time. And uh, it's honestly, it's too much for me to get into. I think they're, they're just, they're too busy. I think it, I, I, mean, I get why they're popular. These are basically the complaints I have about um, City Skylines is that they're just really obtuse games uh, and I want to love them but they just they're, they're complex for the sake of complexity and that doesn't do anything for me like I need games that are like elegant and that's I think that's why strategy games for me peaked in the mid 90s you know SimCity 2000 even 3000 Master of Orion less Master of Orion 2 um, because there's the thing about strategy games on the PC in my personal observation is that as PC games uh, as PCs got more popular it was tempting then to make PC games dramatically more complex and I don't think PC game I don't think strategy games really needed to go that way do you play any 4x games civilization master Brian yeah absolutely there's an uh, when I was working it for flesh eating zipper there was this small time strategy publisher called iceberg they're still out there and they were just doing like dime a dozen 4x games and I got to play uh, a number of those and they weren't very good but I got to play a number of those 4x games came it, 4x the term 4x came out of uh, Alan Emrich who wrote it in response to shit. That's... Why is that guy? Why are those? Why are those guys there? What the fuck's going on? Uh, F Alan Emmerich created the term forex when he was writing about uh, Master of Orion: expand, exploit, ex exterminate. Uh, explore, expand, exploit, exterminate. And uh, there are forex games before Master of Orion. But, uh, you know, that's kind of the game that came out as Master of Rain, the first one. Played the heck out of Civilization V. He loves Rise of Nations. Yeah. Rise of Nations, I think that really qualifies as a 4X game. I don't know if I'm supposed to be murdering these dudes because those guards just tried to kill me. And I don't appreciate that in the slightest. Rise of Nations, I actually... If you go back... Um, two and a half weeks there was that writing writing um, uh, the Outer Worlds review stream that I did it doesn't look like the other ones from the green room and in it we watched my re video review of we watched my video review of Rise of Nations that I did and it was kind of like the prototype for the interview All right, where's the switch? Please don't make me go back to that level. Please don't make me go back to that level. Do you think Microsoft should work on a new Rise of Nations game? Uh, potentially. My concern is that um, Ryan Reynolds is doing whatever he's doing these days and I think if Microsoft brought him I think if Microsoft brought him back to work on it uh, I would be all for it I didn't I own I played the sequel rise of legends at uh, e3 I think it was 2005 I think and uh, I didn't care for it the, this low resolution orzine Look at these shadows. Orzine. Orzine. Look at these shadows. Look at these damn shadows. Look how chunky these are. You watched it about an hour to 30 minutes after the stream. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so that's what I think about Rise of Nations. And yeah, they got a... 
Age of Empires 4 doing its thing. I don't know what. Uh, where is the um, switch for this thing? Why is the access denied? Why? What's uh, what's going on? What's going on? What's happening in here? Feels like I'm gonna come back down here. Hmm. 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 So this is a dead end. I love how easily you can get murdered by everything in this game. Rise of Nations is on Game Pass? That's freaking cool. I bet that's the new uh, Definitive Edition. What the fuck? Why didn't I just do that? I tried doing that. There was a guy in the way. That was supposed to be a cutscene, I think. Uh-oh. What's this? I got it. I got it. What's going on? This sounds like a boss battle. Nikiko must be around here somewhere. This is intense. What is going on in this level? Let's save. Let's save. I like saving. I was playing some Rise of the Nation game on Game Pass and then uh, Age of Empires 2 came out and the grind for AoE 2 just hurt me. No, I guess not, Louis. I guess not. I was really struggling there for, hey, how about fuck you? You have the disc for Rise of Nations, but it does not work. I have to play the Microsoft Store Game Pass version. Yeah, I got it on Steam. Uh, I've the, I have bought Rise of Nations three times, and I do not regret any of it. Wait, what? What? I got the Plasteel armor, and apparently, I can only use it for a couple seconds before. What is the, what does that even mean? So many of these consoles and stuff don't look like <sighs> I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. How am I supposed what's even So that's the door. The plasteel melts in contact with oxygen. Got it. Got it. Let me, um... Let me just, um... I love the jibbing. The jibbing is great. Shh. That was weird. I didn't like that at all. That wasn't cool. How what's my health down to? 27? We're not doing that. We're gonna go back and grab that thing. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay. 
I think we should play um, the original Unreal. I wonder if that can be found easily. You first got Game Pass for Metro Exodus because fuck Epic now, then fell in love with Game Pass. Game Pass is amazing if I had it. What don't you like about um, Epic? I don't like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what your story is. Let's, how about we kill everything that was around here? Unreal Gold on Steam. How much is it? I think I have to go back and do that switch. Wait, what? What did you do that for? Why are why is Epic giving being more greedy than Unreal? They let they give developers more money. Ten bucks. Hmm. That was cool. That was cool. You get two discs of Unreal. That's so many discs. I only had the one. You have the OG two discs Unreal? Did that... How did that even come on two discs? I thought it was one disc. But, you know, it's been... 20 years since I played it, so, you know. Uh... Alright, I think that's what I need. Let's go... Let's go do this thing. All these time doors are suck. They suck. They're awful. I'll take all that, though. What? Maybe that... Was that the wrong door? All these fucking doors. Who designed this place? What a terrible work environment. Okay. 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 So that's that door. Um, and then there's another door. Okay. I think that did that unlock. Am I even supposed to get that dude? Am I even supposed to get that dude? Cause I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a clue. Hey, buddy. Turn off this force field. Ow, ow, ow. So we're in the prison level. I didn't beat Unreal, I put a lot of time into Unreal though. Uh, and I remember it was this, just this meandering, like, when the hell is this game gonna end kind of deal. What a great level. This game is so amazing. This game is so amazing. Do I have any more guns yet? I hate this chainsaw. I hate this chainsaw. I hate that chainsaw. Okay. Oh, I guess there's only six guns. If the uh, UI wasn't microscopic, you know, am I stuck? What am I stuck on? Oh, it's because I typed in the. <laughs> oh, you would wa asta asta. Uh, this music. Everything about this is just this over sensory overload. 
I don't know why I did that. Wrong one. Are you entertained yet, son? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I am. Sorry. I didn't mean to make fun of your game. Oh. can't outsmart this game. I used to play the multiplayer bot matches lots. Could not get past the first level of uh, Unreal. When you're on the on the Rikers, the prison ship. That was really stupid. I, this is everything. Everything is happening that is bad. Okay. Everything is happening that is bad. Hey, bro. Come on, man. Come on through. Come on through. Come on, man. Come on, you can do it. Come on. This dude looks like a strog. Oh, he can't come in. I like that. That's better. I don't think I'm causing him any damage, though. Even though the sensor goes off. Well, that doesn't help me at all. <sighs> Do you want a flowing hair? Do you want a mane like me? Then play the game. Here's a reactor thing. I can't remember what the level was like. I can install and play it from the disc still. Feels weird though as playing with arrow. Well this is this is here and this is happening. Are these guys all evil? Oh, with the arrow keys. God, yes. I used to play first person shooters with the arrow keys. Hey, what's going on? Hey, hey, dude. Not cool. I did not appreciate that. I did not appreciate that in the slightest. We're reloading now that I know what to do. Alright, we're not doing that. We're gonna crawl under here. And we're gonna save. Yes, ex right, these levels are more intuitive. So even though they suck, they're better. Alright, well I got the fucker. I got you, buddy. Thank you. Um, I imagine this is good to go now. Yeah, I don't like where this is going. Heck yeah, circle strafe madness. All right, well that was that was that was my fault. I'll own that. Ninety-eight was the year of arrow keys. Arrow keys or using a joystick. Arrow keys are using a joystick. I don't know where I was at. What was I doing? That was me. Oh, okay, that was kind of dumb. That killed my health a bit. We're not doing that.
You kids getting born in your 90s. I'm gonna nuke myself. Oh my god, this game. All right, the door is open. I don't need to open it again. All right, so he's dead. Now I've just got to not die. Okay. We're good. We got it. We're going to save the game. Were you play? Okay. You're born in 93. You're playing Unreal with arrow keys in 98 at 5 years old? Is that what you were doing? Because that's pretty hardcore, bro. Even I have to own up to that. That's pretty hardcore. Hey, no. That is. I don't tolerate that. Yep, I got him. I got him good. So much of. So much of this right here with the, the mech exploding like that. Um, really. Um. It reminds me of Deus Ex when you're blowing up mechs in there. It's freaking weird. Uh, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Daikatana. All right, let's keep. Let's press on. All right, all right. And you're and this dude's just here. Guys, remember we were playing Dungeon Keeper and we just had the screaming? That was so dumb. Why did I do that? Uh, but remember we had the screaming? And that was a real thing? Uh, that's what that reminds me of. This. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder if this is actually like a, a simulation that's playing inside uh, JC Denton's head. You were playing GTA and Duke Nukem 3D before 10. Wow. My parents would definitely not allow that. Come on down here, I dare you. I don't have anything dangerous down here. Whatever. That hurt. Let's not use our health like that. Can you imagine having to rely on save gems and you can only save at particular points? Like, F that noise. F that noise is what I say about that. So in your opinion, JC Denton, it is a psychosomatic acting insane. You freaking bet your butt. I bet JC Denton, when he doesn't have his info link up, he is just listening to the prodigy. That is what JC Denton is doing all day long. Cool. 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 This music. Seriously. Yeah, you can run away. That's fine. Guys, is this not giving you Dungeon Keeper flashbacks? Where are you at before uh, 97? Before you moved to the UK? Uh, 
Oh, wow, cool. I'm gonna make a broad uh, statement here that you, uh, have you seen uh, District 9? Alright, what's going on here? What did I do? Did I go all the way up there? That's nuts. Alright, so that's that. Is there... <laughs> Great film. Yeah, I was gonna say, like... That, that seemed like... The um, the whole Neil Blomkamp thing is him paying tribute to Joburg in South Africa and, and that. So it seems like if you're from, I'm just positing here, but if you're from South Africa, then that makes a lot of sense. Maybe I have to go further back. Geography Now just did a, a video about South Africa. I'm going to have to go check that out. I don't think I'm subscribed to them. Where is this thing I'm supposed to go? I always think of Mean Girls, why are you white? <laughs> That's such a great movie. I'm a bunny, duh. Word? There's darn word. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, so where is um? What did I do? What did I accomplish? What happened to his sc Alien Four screenplay? Um, Ridley Scott, as I understand it, has some incredible control over what happens to Alien, and he's like, no way, Jose. And so it's totally not around anymore. Uh, as I understand it, though, he is working on District 10, the sequel to District 9 right now. Okay. What? How? 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 What, um, what am I, so again, I'm supposed to, so again, um, okay, so I should be able to get up there. What do you think is better, Ridley Scott or James Cameron? Wow. Wow. Um... In my mind, it's kind of a, a apples oranges thing, right? Because James Cameron's only ma oh, there we go. James Cameron's only made a couple films. That was really fast. That was kind of scary. And Ridley Scott's made a lot more. And um, I think I on, probably James Cameron. Um, I think Ridley Scott's had maybe higher highs than James Cameron. But I think uh, James Cameron's been more consistent. I think uh, like Ridley Scott's made some very, very cool movies, and he's made some not so cool movies. We're gonna save. Saving sounds good. That is a that is a difficult question. That is. How are you supposed to get that? How am I supposed to get that? Not that it matters too much. Find them. I don't like this gun that much. I don't like any of them. Did he do the good wife? He also did the last two alien films. Oh, wow. Uh, and I enjoyed Prometheus, despite how dumb it was. I really did. I haven't seen Alien Covenant, but as I understand it, it's not as... It's not as... The fuck? Oh, 
What the fuck? Who's shooting at me? Are you up here somewhere? Yes, you are. Oh, you're up here. Or you're right here, you stupid piece of crap. God. Well, what we're going to do is ignore that happened. I haven't seen all of, uh, the woodwife, so I believe I'm. I'm totally believing you. The, the shot cycler shells. I don't know what that means. Why does that not fire enough? Fire enough. T1 and T2 is James Cameron. That was really cool. I like that. The Ma The Martian is an amazing uh, movie, and uh, I think it's it's uh, easy to do the uh, oh well the book is ah that's where you are you fucker. Fuck that felt good that felt so good that is one thing I love the insta jibbing of enemies in here is freaking solid. So good, so good. I hope that doesn't spawn people. Um. I read the book The Martian before that. I do. I think it's better, but also I think that the uh, the movie is also really good too. Is it 3 a.m. there? Well, my goodness, who's watching for their time? Aren't we? Ha we're just having fun though. That's what we do here in the green room. That's what we do here. You show up, and you show up, and you just enjoy yourself right here with everyone and we have a good time that's what we do on Saturday nights or I guess Sunday mornings there <laughs> we're gonna save we're gonna do the thing Ugh. Avatar was Cameron yeah so Avatar um, so Cameron was Terminator Terminator 2 Aliens True Lies Titanic and Avatar he's only made a couple films he did some stuff for like Roger Corman before. That's how he got his start. Is he did stuff did stuff for uh, Roger Corman. I like that. That was good. Every, you know, just shoot everyone. You know what? I actually, you know, looking at um, this signage here, I actually get System Shock Two vibes, honestly. That was weird. Yeah, True Lies. What an interesting movie. What an interesting movie. It's like so out of the er. I mean, it's it's over the top in all the weird ways. Piranha 2, yeah. Uh, he he did something else before then too. What is going on over here? That's. Is this a? It's a, it's like a, okay. All right, all right, okay. Okay, we're gonna do one of these. That was almost clip, that was pretty clip. This is like the smartest thing in this level so far. No, stop, stop. That's a drill. We got some British people here. British and Brazil and American. We're just all over the map, aren't we? Portugal! You guys come into the green room late then. I can understand why you guys uh, watch the VOD afterward. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do the thing. I have not seen the duelist. Oh shit, this is scary. Uh. Okay. Uh. Uh. Whoa, whoa. Right, 
That was good. I'll give you something to scream about. When you drink, you don't really sleep. I can understand that. What is going on? There's so much stuff. Why are the... So that's a... Okay. 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 Why does this say down? Up. This says up when it's going down. I mean, the Deus Ex solution is to just... Oh my god! this at all this dude okay imagine this dude right here is like raving to the soundtrack do the thing. We're in solitary. It's like, like Strogs from Quake 2. I'm fine then. all you want cuz you ain't getting what you want okay we're having a Portuguese reunion I feel so happy <clears throat> I bet they're uh, listening to a lot of hybrid theory when this game came out wait what where is that where is that Okay, well, came down here, went into this room, and we got the switch. Yes, I'm glad everybody's happy. That's what we do here. Alright, so I came down there. I am... Um... Okay. Can I get up there? It's a man house! It's a man house! You could all be guards and I don't know. I have to kill you all. This game is such an effing slog. Christ. Oh my god. Ugh. We haven't even gotten Superfly yet. I think you get him first. Superfly Johnson in here is voiced by, um... Uh, shit. Not by shit. The guy who does Lambert from Splinter Cell. And he also does a role in, um... Um... Uh, excuse me, the Outer Worlds. It does a couple in Outer Worlds, actually. I didn't like that at all. That was way too fast. Superfly's a... It's such a racist game. What were they even thinking? I mean, it was racist before then. Before the Superfly, but seriously. 
Unreal, the first Unreal is actually kind of like this too, where you just keep playing, and you keep playing, and you keep playing, and then you keep playing, and then you keep playing. And then... You get bored, I guess. And a lot of this looks like Unreal too. Whoa. That was a cool fact about Superfly right there. This is a room. I have not seen the, the new Chernobyl show. I really want to, though. Hey, I can upgrade one of my abilities. What do I upgrade? I don't know. Whatever that is. There we go. I wish it was a little bit more uh, informative about that, though. I wish it would tell you a little bit better. Oh, crap. We're in a whole new level, guys. With new guards. Everyone explodes like just freaking pinatas. <laughs> Blood pinatas. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Supervisor actor on Chernobyl died? I know what this is. I know what this is. We're playing Half-Life 2 at some point. We're playing both Half-Life games. That's what we're doing. We're playing both Half-Life games. I need a good FPS after something. I don't like the first Half-Life as much, but I do like the second one. The second Half-Life game changed my life. That is a game that changes your life. Oh, dude, DMX is gone too, I know. You're slipping, you're falling, you can't get up. Alright, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, fuck you, don't do that. No, don't hurt me. That's not how this works. Half-Life 1 would be a breath of fresh air, and I haven't played it in 20 years, so, you know. Actually, you know what would be really cool, to be honest, uh, would be to get the Black Mesa redo, because they redid Zen. I think that would be cool to play, because there's a lot of Half-Life 1 that is also a slog. I like this. This is cool. I like the blue. I like what's going on here. <laughs> that was good. Hey, guys. Why didn't I shoot? The thing in the other direction. That makes no sense. Yeah, because Zen in the original Half-Life is an awful freaking mess. I hate it. The story about the actor came first. A day later, Prince Philip. Then an hour later, DMX. Then one of the first people from Big Brother UK died. Man. Man, no one can catch a break, can we? Oh, see, cell block four, I bet. I bet that's what that is. Hey. Mm-hmm. 
We're gonna we're gonna do the thing. We've uncovered two of eleven secrets and killed thirty-nine out of sixty-one monsters. Hmm. Hey. I don't know what that guy was doing, but okay. You needed the health kit. I guess I did. I guess, I guess I did. That is a switch. That exploded that thing. That exploded that thing. Alright. I don't like these blinking lights as much, but, uh, oh, wow. I, mean, I needed that health kit. That is a big, look how chunky this door is. That's a, that's like a Lawrence Livermore door. The lab from Tron. Okay. Where exactly? Why do you gotta keep guarding? Why don't you just quit? Why don't you unionize and leave? Fight for some rights, bro. Is that the timing bell? I think it's hilarious we're talking about Big Brother UK. I think it's just amazing. This is awesome. I love it. Oh my goodness. I s Hey, bro. Bye. Every time I go on one of these doors, I expect it to like... Why can't I get that? I want it. Yeah, people are dying independently of COVID-19 again. Why do we gotta do this thing where we can... Why the fuck did I do that? Why the fuck did I do that? I'm not even paying attention anymore. Hey. Bro. And that blows up that, and then I can press this to unlock a door. Because that's what we do here. We unlock the floor. Did I already go to the Lawrence Livermore? I think I did. Oh. Oh. Yes. Attack. Okay, 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 okay. We got it. We got it. We're saving now, not loading now. Okay. Why isn't there an elevator just ready for me? That's so misleading. I always expect it to go up. I don't understand. Why are you just chilling right here? Oh, fuck. Okay. Now we can load the game. Uh, if you guys had to endure a t reality TV show endlessly, what would it be? Uh... As a security guard, I bet time passed terribly slow. I bet it fucking did. What a that sounds miserable. Uh, I don't want to blow your guys' minds, but uh, the reality show that really caught me, and you're gonna laugh, uh, was the uh, was the Amazing Race. Amazing Race was an uh, incredible. Uh, reality show it just got kind of boring after a while but then it was The Apprentice actually with Donald Trump that's how I know the Donald Trump that's how I know Donald Trump is from The Apprentice I think that's how a lot of people know who he is and back then he seemed like I don't know honorable maybe back then um shit shit 
I have a shotgun now? When did I get a shotgun? That's like a four barrel shotgun. You did night watch over a flower stand for Valentine's Day. Uh, early, uh, early, uh, season, like first two or three seasons. Not the celebrity one, not the celebrity one, but actually when he was actually hiring people to run parts of his empire. Which, in retrospect, seems really pitiful. Like, like the Omarosa year. Whoa, guys. Whoa. Cutscene. <laughs> Cutscene. Man, you toasted those dudes, but good. Thanks. Don't mention it. What the hell is that, anyway? Just another one of Mishima's toys. Some sort of heavy-duty torture device. Pretty nasty, huh? Now, how about lending me a hand and opening my cell? How about some information first? Speak. I'm looking for someone. She's only been locked up in here Kitchen for Kitchen Nightmare's pretty weeks. good. I think the UK version's probably better than the US version, though. Yes, that's right. You've seen her? <laughs> oh, yeah. She's a hot little number. Feisty, too. Gave Mishima's goons a run for their money before they finally chased her down. This is Leo Gold from Deus Ex. Sure do. High security defense wing. I'll show you if you want. This is, this is Leo Gold from... What Properties only paid 40-50% of the taxes. Now they only pay 5%. The Up in the statue. Looks like we're in the same line of work. Any ideas on how to get you out of that cell? Access card behind the Mishima logo. You passed it on the way in. Just follow the power conduit and blow up the control box. So one sounds like JC Denton, the other guy is is Leo Gold, and everything is weird in this game. That's a torture device right there, buddy. This is a um a box full of bones and guts and stuff. That's cool. That's cool. We're gonna save though. That's what we're gonna do. We're not leaving without Superfly, don't worry. Alright, so it's behind the... That's a fucking gun. This is a cool gun, I gotta say. Look at that. Look at that. Alright, we need... So in Unreal, there was a... There was a, uh, oh. Oh, that's cool. Uh, in Unreal, there was a er, tournament as well. You could shoot the ball out and then immediately detonate it. That's what this needs. Hey, get me out of this. You know what? IMDb is there for a reason. <laughs> Prove me wrong. It's okay. some action would have been cool if it teased us with enemies or something imagine Idos Montreal releases a trailer for a new game in it you see a special agent wearing sunglasses and a trench coat he sneaks around hacks electronic devices takes down enemies silently the works something goes wrong and is spotted by a guard a chase ensues. He finds himself surrounded when suddenly a helicopter hovers over him, pointing a spotlight at him. As this happened, he looks up, creating an image similar to the Deus Ex 1 cover art. And the main thing plays. Check that out. Yeah. That would be something. That'd be something. It'd have to be a Majestic 12 helicopter, though. It's like if someone took Unreal Gunplay 
use some Deus Ex mix with System Shock. It... Are we talking about this game or are we talking about some game that's actually cool? <laughs> that would be Jock, I guess so. Hey. I love this. This shotgun is really good. I don't usually compliment shotguns, but this shotgun is pretty rad. Marcus M. Maudlin, what, has, what does he do? What else did he do? Yeah, this game is... This game is a... <clears throat> toxic. This is a... This game is a... Is, is a toxic sludge. Body parts. Nasty. <laughs> Nasty! This game is kind of like a toxic mix of things that are better than this game. Ugh. I, I just feel so wrong. Watch out for the meat grinder, hero. It's slippery up there. Thank hey, you. Hero. I'm not really going to enjoy this guy talking the whole time, am I? Don't fall in there. I don't like the red flashing. Where to? Our best bet is to cut across the crematorium. You seem to know your way around here pretty well. Must have been in here a while, eh? You could say that. I'm Project Snowblind? Head security chief, Superfly Johnson. At your service. You worked here? Then why? A pretty boy like you probably can't imagine the kind of crap that goes on behind closed doors. The constant torture. He looks like an prisoners. alien. Look at him. Whacked out experiments to test folks' threshold of pain. Pretty sick, sadistic stuff. At first, I turned a blind eye. But eventually, I got fed up enough to speak out and confront my superiors. They rewarded the me with a death sentence for head. what they labeled as insubordination <laughs> and conspiracy against the state. Figures. That seems to be the Mishima way. Well, old Kagi's about to get a taste of his own medicine. Because I aim to collect my severance. It's the real Deus Ex 3. Including Deus Ex, all of Borderlands, and a bunch of the two series. What's with all of their body movements? What is with this game? What is... What is... What is this game? What is this game? Where is the part where we leave and travel through time? I don't get it. Why would Mishima need a crematorium inside his fortress? Never figured that out myself. I always assumed it was a front for something, but for what? I don't know. Maybe it's time we found out. Yeah. <gasps> oh, that was that was weird. So this is like, I guess this is like Quantum Break where, oh, this guy needs to die. Are you, did you seriously just melee that dude? Uh, where the main character like goes back in time and creates a huge corporation. Because Quantum Break's like that. But Quantum Break's got a really good story, so, you know. Okay. Okay. That shotgun is way too powerful. There's gotta be, like, an alt mode or some. Kaje Mishima. That's a really cool poster. This might be the coolest art in the entire game, so far. The frame is ugly as sin, though. Look at that frame. And this music, what is happening? Have a good one, Stampede.
thank you for dropping by in the green room and 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 if you're on you're on Twitch, yeah, that's right. You don't have a like on Twitch. If you go back to YouTube and you drop a like, that'd be cool. But hey, have a good sleep, man. Have a good sleep, buddy. You know, why don't you handle the enemies and I will just read the magazines. Where's the Deus Ex reading the the man who was Tuesday or Thursday? I'm not liking having to balance this out. What is happening? Oh, oh, the door won't open. Oh, oh. I would love to be a voice actor for deaths. Oh my god, it is. Oh my god, this is E1M1. How did they get away with that? That's weird. Dude, having someone else handle the dragonflies? So amazing. Take care of the frogs and the dragonflies. I'm good. I'm good, bro. Well, why did it end when we left that room? That is a base note right there. We're gonna save the game. That sounds really good. Yeah, yeah, check out the Discord, man, whenever you, you know, whenever you did, did that. Um, but yeah, man, drop a, a like and just have a good rest, man. Get rested up, sleep well, it's late there. I don't know what your schedule's like, but just enjoy the heck of yourself. And yeah, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. Even if you are a taffer. Hey. I really hate this grenade launcher. It is way too powerful. We're not doing that. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe Romero did, maybe. I'm not entirely sure because I think um, I remember there was a dispute because Activision was going to try and buy ID, or they bought a chunk of ID back in the, you know, like. Quake 4 era before Bethesda came around and uh, Adrian Carmack sued Adrian Carmack sued because they like undervalued his share of the company gosh that's bringing back memories yeah every Saturday Stampede you know it you know it. we're gonna play some old games I don't know maybe we'll play maybe we'll just play this maybe we'll just play this next week Maybe we'll continue this tour of awfulness. Maybe. I found a secret. I found a secret healing spot. Fire! From the Ion Storm in the green room! Superfly, what are you doing? Superfly, what are you doing? What's happening? Okay. Well, I'm glad for that. That is way too much. <laughs> that is way too much weapon for that. Hospital. What a terrible name. What a horrible name. I agree with that. Thank you, Superfly. Thank you so much. Thank you for killing that dude. We're gonna do this thing. Charlton Wonder. 
I cannot say that I have. Or the You can do that. Whoa. Whoa. Are you watching this? Are you seeing what's going on? That is intense. I don't know what it means, though. What's next, boss? Get the fuck out of here. This base is driving me nuts. Are you guys hearing this? Are you guys feeling this? What did I do? Why are you even get That's your ass, later. Okay, what happened? What did I do? What did I accomplish? That's, um, it's not, I don't know what that is. Yes, yes, yes. I do. I do know that. That's the one. That's the guy I was talking, thinking about earlier. I could. I don't remember his name. Yes, he does a bunch of videos on immersive sims and stuff. Absolutely, I've seen a number of them. Yes, is a charlatan wonder. I think it is what it is. So there's obviously. A dude. How about we save now? Come on, Superfly. Let's take care of this dude. Oh, he's, you're over here. Nice. Nice. So if you just keep pressing the weapon, he just keeps pressing that button. Yay, I got it! Oh my god. <laughs> of course that killed him. Of course that killed him. I can't leave without my buddy Superfly. I can't leave without my buddy Superfly. I don't know why I did that twice, but okay. Superfly, where'd you go? I do remember reading that... Superfly. <laughs> I thought he was yours. <sighs> He's doing the wrong. <laughs> we we could do that. You.
see, I can understand why um, Idos had such a fun time closing Ion Storm, like, gradually. Because, you know, Ion Storm Dallas is making this thing. And then Ion Storm a Austin. Nick, while you were trying to exit the level, Superfly was showing them moves. He sure hella was. He sure was. Uh, yeah, so... Ion Storm Dallas is making this thing. Hosportal. Hosportal. Who made that name up? Why would you make a name up like that? Says he moves like a dagger. He kind of moves like dagger. He got that move. He moves like dagger. Are we dispensing poison? Is that what we're doing? So anyway, Ion Storm Dallas is making this game, and then Ion Storm Austin is making what is making Deus Ex. Uh, fucking. <sighs> What movie were we... Yeah. Yeah. Are, ta uh, are we talking about um, Akira? Kaneda! Tetsuo! How about we not get on the conveyor belt? Maybe that's stupid. Maybe that's stupid. Yep. We got to work it, work it. We got to work it, work it. We got to... Move it. We got to move it. Move it. We got to move it. Move. Just ask me to move. Oh, move. Oh, what's the other game they put out? What other game? Oh, I don't like this. Uh, Ion Storm Austin did the f Deadly Shadows. Same guys who did uh, Invisible War. It was actually like a sister team. How do you even? How do you even? How does one even? Yeah, it was Warren Spector's Ion Storm Austin that did uh, did that, and I think they redid the logo for Invisible War. I think that's when it changed. I think that's when it changed. Superfly, get off of there. Uh oh, I don't like where this is going. I. That doesn't. That seriously sounded like Deus Ex right there. Section clear. It can't be the up. What the fuck just happened? What the fuck just happened? Where did Superfly go? Superfly is gone. Uh oh. Did we break the game? <gasps> All you do in your like good job is read Wikipedia. Uh, which hurt more, most the closure of Ion Storm or the closure of Red Storm? Isn't Red Storm technically still around? Weren't they working on um, Division stuff? I thought Red Storm was still an ongoing concern. Yeah, yep, that's uh, unfortunately the fear that I had. Alright, no, get off. Get off. I feel like I'm yelling at my dog or something. Hey, man. Watch where you going. Alright. Horse patrol. Hor horse patrol. What, what the fuck is he doing? He's moonwalking. I don't know what that really accomplished. Such 
like the original Rainbow Six Three. Oh, I'm sorry. Hang on. That I just sounded really stupid there for a second. I played Rainbow Six Three on the original Xbox. I had a ton of fun for about a week, uh, and then we all just kind of moved on. Because I think that was the year that uh, Halo Two came out. Red Storm was always more technical though, because they did Ghost Recon, which I remember playing that, and that was impenetrable. <laughs> that felt really impenetrable. That felt really weird, and the missions were like five minutes long. It was that Ghost Recon, the original, was so strange. I kind of wish I uh, had played Advanced Warfare. That always looked like a fun game, and I never had it. Raven was more stuff like this. I've played we, uh, Romega and I we played uh, co-op Hexen two, and I remember playing the the demo for Heretic two. What is even going on? What is happening? What am I even doing? Uh, let's see. If we that seriously sounds like Deus Ex, doesn't it? It had to. I don't know why you would go back up that way, but okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm glad that you're... <sighs> Can't open that. That is seriously Deus Ex. I'm not losing my mind. You guys, you guys heard me. All right, we're back to a level that's not as intuitive anymore. So that's cool. Why the med kit when you have a horse pitol next to it? Exactly. These are the questions I will be dreaming about tonight. Why do you need a med kit when you've got a horse pitol? When I say Raven, I mean a shell of itself. Other than New Cod, they have no main project leagues. Yeah, no, you're right. Uh, they have not. They haven't made their own original game, and it's been what Singularity? I think was the last one. <sighs> you know what? Uh, yeah, guys. You know what? You know what? I think we're good. I think we're good. What is that sound every time? That's definitely the save there. We're calling it a hospital. <laughs> Welcome to the end screen. Hey, um, thank you guys so much. This is like the biggest stream I've seen so far for the green room. And I'm so happy to uh, see so many of you guys in here. Um, and we do this every Saturday. So, hey, yeah, drop on by. Have some fun. We're all going to have some fun in here. Absolutely. Every Saturday. That's the last thing on here. That's the last thing. That's it. There we go. Grab your B. Don't forget your B. You cannot forget your B. Uh, if you're on, if you're, yes, this game is definitely something. If you're on YouTube, hit the like, hit the like down there. Um, and if you're not on YouTube, go back to YouTube and hit the like. Uh, subscribe or follow if you're on Twitch or YouTube, of course. Check on the Patreon. Patreon. I talked about it a little bit earlier, uh, but you know, just give it a look. Give it a look, of course. Uh, have a good night. Join the Discord. Get on that Discord. There's a link below somewhere. I know it is. Go join the Discord. We're chatting all the time, all hours of the day. Um, social media, you can follow us every freaking place. And then, yeah, hey, next Saturday. Yeah, thanks for dropping a like there, Dylan. Thank you, man. Uh, yeah, Discord is amazing. We're chatting all the time about everything. If you just need a cool place to talk, we are there. Do that next Saturday. You be here. I saw you we're, last Saturday. We're gonna have fun. I don't know what game we're gonna play, but we'll figure out something. We've got a list in the Discord. I'm constantly changing now. We got it, guys. Have a great night. Have a great night. And until next time, I'll see you then. I'll see you then. There you are. <laughs>